Hello? 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 Hey. Let me see. Everything's working. Yes, it sure is. Look at that. Look at that. Look at Woohoo! That. It's working. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Dungeon Select. Oh, Hi. Hi. We're here on a Monday Hi. of all days. Monday. Uh, this is the last one shot we'll run before our campaign returns this Sunday, uh, where I'll be back in the in the in the DM chair. It's been a, it's been a nice break though. <laughs> Enjoying playing D and D for once instead of guiding a group of fucking idiots. Um, <laughs> fun. But you know you. <laughs> this love I might it. get to be the idiot. Great. Hey, there you go. <laughs> um, thanks to the resubs, guys. Appreciate you. Uh, welcome on in. Uh, for those that are new here. Uh, we play D&D every single week. We are currently on our holiday break, but we'll be back this Sunday with our weekly campaign. Um, different content going on here as well besides that. Uh, we also have a YouTube channel, which I think every day of this week, Bell is uploading a little yes. a little highlight thingy for each character in the campaign. There's like a little running, a uh, little kind of like a countdown, I guess, to when the, when the, yeah. uh, the, the campaign starts. So I'm so excited. A lot of stuff coming to YouTube. So check that out. Exclamation mark YouTube in chat if anyone wants to... Check this will be on the YouTube if you have to miss the ending or part of this. So, um, but yeah, we're here. Uh, a lot of faces you're probably not familiar with. Um, so I suggest. Um, I just saw your character name, Opti, and I'm, I'm <laughs> intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's right. so good. It's um, so good. We've had Natty here before. We had Natty here uh, last Sunday in, in Koiba's uh, one shot. Very cool. We've had OSG here before, but um, we had. Have, Opti has not We've been on Opti. this channel. I've been here before. We've been Boom. Boom was on this channel. Was it on this channel? I'm stupid. It wasn't this channel. My bad. It was Boom. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, and, uh, and so the only uh, person here that is that is completely new and like a, you know a, a, making it making his debut, I guess, on the channel, is Gmail. So if you want to quickly, I don't know. Introduce yourself or something, or you know. Hi, little, I'm Jamel. Um, I, well, I had a little bit of experience of the of D and D, but it's the, the first time I'm doing this on live stream. So I'm probably gonna be the noob here, and uh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I'm not stressing at all. <laughs> <laughs> we can stress together. It's fine. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Good notes, um, but uh, but it's the first time experience for me, so I'm, I'm I'm really open to everything, and and cool that I get lucky with the charity event though. So yeah, 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 yeah for sure, for sure. To do to that. Yeah, for anyone so that for, is uh, wondering, for, for donating, obviously, because you wouldn't yeah. have been here if you hadn't. So, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, because that is how the players today were chosen. <laughs> this is going all the way back to November of 2021. Um, our community that most of us are a part of, uh, we're all in the Discord level select. We do a charity drive twice a year. November, we did it for a whole month. And one of the incentives I promised if we hit a certain amount raised was we, I would DM a one shot and I would choose the players randomly selected from the list of donators. And so I put all the names of people that donated in a random name generator and drew till I drew every name. So I had a whole list in the order in case I don't know how far down the list we get. And I just went through until we got enough people that could commit to a day and time that worked. And it somehow happened that we got an entirely Dutch speaking cast from randomly drawn that names is, of donators from around the world. Great. So <laughs> we've all decided whenever we feel like, you know, we all just somehow speak a language that, that, that you want to understand. We're just going to speak <laughs> Dutch the entire time. So. That's cool if you want to we speak between us and we want to say like stuff behind the DM's back, we can do it. So for yeah, that. I should because totally because have looked like, real quick. Hold on. I'm going to quickly check if there is a language that all your characters. No. <laughs> no, no all, already. Already. I looked at two characters and no, because like Gmail knows common, Elvish, Sylvan. And then Dutch doesn't know Elvish or Sylvan. Or, like, other than common, you all don't have. So. Fucking loser. Oh, well. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> we did try. We did. Um, <laughs> TLDR, the Dutch are colonizing Twitch. Yeah, I mean, old habits die hard, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I don't know. I said cast. Like, pl I mean, players. I don't. I'm I'm out of the loop. I, I do not well, speak Dutch. Don't want well, to ask me to speak any Dutch. In, in my defense, I'm half Dutch, actually. So I'm not... Uh... I'm half Belgian, half Dutch, but there you go. There you go. Details, yes, details, yeah. details. <laughs> Only his best half. <laughs> uh, Thieves can't is Dutch confirmed. <laughs> yeah. True. All right. True. Um, a lot of new faces. Appreciate that. I'm assuming that uh, some of you are are are, are some of Gmail's uh, community. That I'm assuming because I've you know seen some familiar faces that they were asking about. A handsome fella, and I know that none of us are except for Gmail, so <laughs> it has to be, has to be Gmail, right? Shots fired. Um, 
I took a shot at myself in there as well, so we're fine. I know. <laughs> I didn't specify. But, um... I just did my announcement spiel. I talked about the yeah. campaign coming back. I promoted the YouTube. Any announcements? Anyone want to share anything with the class before Laura gets to kick um, off? Just at the very end, uh, we can everyone can do a quick maybe brief, because all of us here are also streamers. We're all content creators. So at the end of the one shot, we'll have everyone just go give like their elevator pitch of their channel. If there's anyone you want to follow off of Dungeon Select. Um, and other than that, I think we'll just go ahead and get started. Also, thank you before we start. Um, Johnny Miss in the chat is the one who purchased this one shot for me nice. so and donated it to dungeon select to play so can everyone do a thank you in chat thank you. Johnny Miss, we appreciate him the I, must can like thank thank you. <laughs> I can clap on like opti <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> for those wondering opti is playing a bard as you can see and he was intending to do some drumming IRL to go with his bardic like flavor in game, but his microphone has said no. And like, when he hits or it makes any percussive I contact can just... with anything, that works. Oh, that oh, this works. Works. oh, now it works. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Um, he, was, he was struggling. Yeah, All right. For those that are new here, um, when we play DD, obviously we don't interact with chat. Uh, the chat's merely there to interact with each other and. If there's something that we want to jump on or respond to, it'll be typed in chat by any of the players, so you can um, expect communication that way. Um, also, a thing we do is obviously don't tell the players how to play, don't tell them yeah. to do certain things. Respect the players and let them choose how to roleplay their characters, because at the end of the day, none of you in chat know their characters and how they would react. The only per people that do know are the people that created the characters, i.e. the players. So let the players play the game and... You guys just, you know, sit there, enjoy, watch, uh, laugh at our misery and all that stuff. Um, and along the same vein, yeah. if I mess up a rule because I'm still new at DMing, um, Dutch as re as their like normal DM, feel free to at no at any point interject and be like, quick, quick correction. I won't be offended. I'll appreciate it. But if both of us miss something and someone in chat's like, that's not how this works. Whatever. I'm the DM, so I make the rules. I can just decide. I can just decide not too bad. Fifth edition who? Sixth edition now. We're, Sixth edition. we're doing it. <laughs> so, no. so don't come for me in the chat because I'm learning. Okay? Yeah, exactly. There we go. Um, but okay. I think Let's uh, go. that's it. So All uh, right. take it away. So again, this one shot adventure is called The Night Festival. For anyone curious, it is written by the author is Anna Holden, and it is a one shot that is also fully accessible. So if you wanted to make a character who played in a wheelchair or had mobility or any physical handicaps, they can, which is pretty cool. Um, we will start just like the day before the festival actually kicks off because what drew you together, we are not gonna do the, oh, you're a group that's been adventuring for a while and you know each other. You are actually a relatively new group of comrades. You have been brought together by Kirora, the elven wizard. Uh, after Kirora received a letter from a colleague of theirs, um, who was one of their mentors, one of the people who trained them. Uh, and this person is a, also a wizard and a professor known as Professor Rathbone, tiefling professor. And this is what the letter re read, Kirora, that you received, and for the audience. Hello, Kirora. It has been an age since we last spoke. I wish I could say I was getting in touch with more pleasant tidings. I don't even know where your studies have taken you, so I can only hope this letter finds you in time. As you know, my personal area of expertise was the study of subterranean creatures. A few decades ago, either three or four, when you get to my age, time gets a little more fluid, so I'm sorry I can't be more precise. I was hired by the City Council of Rail spelled W-R-A-L-E, by the way, to help with security in their new mining operations. As this was an area previously untouched by civilization, they weren't sure what manner of creatures they might encounter as they tunneled. I was on hand to provide counsel and identification services for whatever manner of beast they came across. Thankfully, nothing too serious ever came about. No beholders, no mind flayers, just some run-of-the-mill boggles, gibberlings, larger-than-normal bats, the usual. However, the past few years, it seems like there are less and less miners going in, but the same amount of riches coming out. And I swear there are even a few civilians who have gone missing. People claim they just moved away looking for a change, but I don't know. Something just doesn't feel right. I went down into the mine with some of the town guardsmen the other day, and it just felt... off. I, I can't exactly describe it, I'm not the adventuring type like you. 
Perhaps if you could spare time for a visit, I would love your expertise. Maybe just some fresh sets of eyes. Feel free to bring some extra muscle with you. I know us bookish types aren't exactly the best in precarious situations solo. Also, the town's annual festival is happening soon. It's always great fun. You should definitely try and make it in time for that. Regards, Professor R.M. Rathbone. So you received that letter, you and you got to work assembling a party, and you hired the rest of your friends that you see here. You hired Kana, played by Dutch, for her investigative skills. You hired um, Elmenar, as well as an NPC party member that you do not see here named Van Welm for some muscle, some combat skills. Uh, Bloom brought about for the, that support, some of that healing, that extra magical touch. And then you found this bard in a pub and you're like, he makes really cool music and he's a pet pig and I like the pig. So you brought him along too for, for good times because traveling without some good vibes for you know how long could get a bit rough. I, I like this mute, uh, this mute music though. I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So you have only, I will say you've only been together for probably like a week, you know, enough that you know each other, like first name basis, but you're not by any means, like, you know, you're not best friends. You're not um, super, super familiar with each other yet, we'll say. And we're going to make it, you just got to the city in the morning and you'd had a long journey. So you spent the day just resting up in like a tavern, just having a meal, getting rested. Because you know, the festival is a nocturnal and nighttime festival. And the letter said, check it out. You can like, we'll get to... We'll get to the investigating tomorrow. For now, let's just party, like, once a year festival. So you are just starting to leave the tavern as it's fallen into night. Festival comes alive. The city is alive. You can feel the breath of life and the buzzing energy of its inhabitants like electricity through the city. Small shops have set up outside their storefronts with colorful booths. Some set up at corners or across alleyways. Your NPC friend, who is part of your party, Van Welm, for what they look like, just so you know, a dark-skinned half-elf, tapered ears covered in various colorful earrings. He wears gently worn traveling clothes and eye-catchingly bright colors, as is his favorite. His boots are polished black, matching the belt around his waist that carries two sheathed swords. His black hair is tied back with an equally bright scarf, and there is a hint of mischief in his eyes. So as you exit the tavern, you just see all these booths, lights, music. There's a bonfire in the corner, like everything is just full swing. Your party member, Van Welm, pulls away from the group to go buy a pastry from a nearby stall. He promises he'll be right back in a minute. You guys find yourself drawn to a different booth. The only thing that's as colorful is your friend, who just has gone off to get some food. Um, the banner strung over this booth reads, Pixie's Potions, in blue glitter against a pink background. Atop a wooden table sits an array of glass-corked bottles with dozens of different colored liquids inside. Each one shimmers in a different way. A few even seem to be glowing. A sign on the table warns, alcoholic. Behind the table, a slight halfling with bright purple hair sits in a wheelchair. She has a tipped up nose and full cheeks and a mischievous smile on her face as the party approaches. She leans forward and puts her elbows on the table as the party gets closer. Closer. I don't know why I said that that way. Oh, sure. Money, Mischief shifting to welcoming as she brushes long purple hair out of her face. Welcome, welcome. I'm Pixie. The soft but the party. None of the bottles on the table are labeled. Uh, so if you want to, if you are curious as to what they are, you're going to have to ask her yourself. Um, but yeah, she just says like, welcome, tells you her name. Says, So anything of interest on the table for you today? What? And the bottles, what they look like. Yes. You have a purple, an orange, a green, a brown, and a yellow. The purple one is a fairly standard like bottle, a bit wider at the top, tapers in. Orange one, very skinny square bottle. Green one, short, fat, looks like there might be something floating in it inside the center, but you don't know what it is. The brown one is in a bottle that looks more like a whiskey bottle, and the yellow one is in like a tall, almost like hexagonal shaped bottle. So there are six, there are five potions on the table and lots of versions. Like she has like multiples of each five, but there are five that she is selling. Uh, hello? What's it? What's in the, the the brown bottle? I like that one. Oh, the what's the there? brown one. The brown one. It's it's like it tastes like liquid smoke. It'll warm your insides right up. Everything costs like two whiskey. copper pieces. Is it whiskey? Yeah. yeah, but like it's my special kind. What's special about it? Oh, we'll try it and find out. I can't give away my secrets. <clears throat> Why not? All right, so two copper pieces, please. 
Uh, I only have gold. I can make change. It's fine. You must yeah. not be from here. That's 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 some big money. Takes the gold well, and like go rummages through gold, a little purse but... <laughs> and breaks it. So you would get um like nine silver and a bunch of copper back. I think. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna go with eight. So. Nine silver, eight <laughs> copper. Yeah. There we go. And man. you now she hands you the brown bottle. What other bottles I, were there? I drink Purple, this. orange, green, and yellow. And there's there's multiple of the brown. There's enough that if all of you want the same color, like she has a wide stock. She has like, you know, like 50 of each because it's for the whole night, but she only has the, the five colors. Wait, I, is, I, it like, is it like something I read about in, in the past? Like I know like this color is linked to, to that possible ingredient? Um, you can roll me your choice of Arcana check or a uh, history check. Yes. So on your sh on your sheet, <laughs> on your sheet, the really skinny in the middle list of all the different skills. Mm -hmm. uh, so Arcana and history are closer to the top, and to roll them, just click on the little numbers. They both are a plus five, so they're equally you're equally knowledgeable in either mm -hmm. area. Yeah. So right. uh, so pick whichever one you feel like, and go ahead and click on it, and it'll roll a dice for you. Okay, let's go. It's For anyone gonna... watching, we're using D and D Beyond. Uh, we have the overlay on the side, so you can look yes. at the character sheets <laughs> that the characters our players have made today, if you want. What does a B mean? <laughs> what does what mean? A B. I had a B apparently, or twenty-five in total. That's a natural 20. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, you rolled a crit for your first. Okay. First roll. So <laughs> you. I know everything. <laughs> I will say, uh, with that. Let me just okay. check which ones I think. I like this game. Nice. Fuck, man. With the natural 20, I feel like you might know what all what all of them do. Oh, but I want to... Can everyone else deafen for a minute? And I'm only going to tell Gmail sure, no, what they sure, do. Sure, sure, sure. And then I'll tell oh, you. Wait, well, I thumbs up I when you... I'll turn my hands off. Oh. Because, like, chat needs to hear. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Well, here, Dutch. If, Dutch, if you want to... If you know you can avoid metagaming, then you can go ahead and listen. Ah, fuck it. I'll just okay. It. Everyone else deafen. <laughs> and I'll thumbs up when you're good. So, uh... because of your many, many years of study... um. And just from some of the odors and the things coming off these these potions, you know that um, many of them alcoholic, but not super heavy. So the, none of these are going to get your party like instantly wasted. Oh. And you do know some of them are going to have some pretty just harmless effects. Some of them are going to enhance your sense of smell. Some of them will make flowers grow out of your hair. Um, you know, potion number one, you might want to avoid because it telegraphs your thoughts to everyone else within 30 feet of you for one hour so for one hour everyone else okay. can read your thoughts so if you're a very okay. private person maybe don't do that and you know Wait, that the brown one, that one? Purple. Which color was that? Purple. so purple okay. yeah. purple people read your thoughts and the brown yeah. one you know that your friend just purchased his next spell attack will do an additional it'll be more potent the next time he chooses to use magic specifically in an offensive way it's going to pack a bit more of a punch. But he mm -hmm. won't know that. He won't feel anything until he does it. Okay. We'll let everyone undeaf it. Hello. Hello. It's a very easy way to know when to undeaf it, though, seeing you put your headphones True. back on. <laughs> <laughs> if people are paying word. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that is, that is what you know well. about the potions on the table. Mm hmm. And so, Opti, you have, you can just put brown mystery potion in your inventory. Okay. And all the potions are enough for a single use. They're not like they're small little. It's like almost like shots of the potions My in the bottles. My eyes will fall on the orange potion. Okay. How much is that one? Oh, they're all the same price. They're all two copper. Tonight's more just about you know the 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 joy celebrating the anniversary of our city and we're thriving and you know it's not really about making money. It's just about having a good time. What happens if we mix them? Oh, I would not do that. I I've never. Oh, on. I can't say I've tried. Oh, now I'm curious. Oh, look what you've done. And you can see you're just <laughs> eyeing up the bottles now, looking like you feel like you know how her night's gonna end now. I'll buy. <laughs> I'll join. I'll I'll have two orange ones. You'll buy two orange ones, so that's four yes. copper. Um, and when I'll you drink smell one it, right away. Okay, um, it's very, very it sweet. It's reminiscent of uh, a nectarine in taste. Do you know what that fruit is? I don't know, because it's, it's a bit obscure. It's like a peach, Wait. but different. 
Yeah. We have that in the Netherlands as okay. well. Okay. So yeah, it's very reminiscent of a nectarine flavor. We call it, it is a highly concentrated. <laughs> It's almost like drinking, like, you know, like the simple syrups that you make for like drinks. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like drinking like a nectarine peach flavored straight syrup. And yeah. you do immediately feel a little tipsy. So nice. you are for the next hour, Mood. you are you are buzzed. You have a buzz. Mood. And I need I need you to roll a D10 for me, please. Oh, hold on. I'm breaking my change. A D10? I, I... Yep. I look at him. That's a nine. Okay. Um, you, you, you start to feel a little, almost like you're sweating instantly and oh, you're gosh. like, oh man, like in my butt, like, you know, like that, the whole, when you feel warm, you're drinking, but then you kind of like touch one of your, what, what, what are you wearing right now? Actually? What's your ensemble? Uh, like? Kana is wearing. Do you have um, any exposed skin? Like even just your hands or uh, anything? Hands would be exposed, yeah. Okay, so you realize, you go to like, just like feel like, oh, I'm feeling kind of warm. You go to touch your forehead and your hand sticks a minute before it pulls off. So for nine minutes, your skin is considered sticky. Oh, it's gross. <laughs> but it tasted it's delicious. All I like, all like kind of, <laughs> you see these like these very pale, almost like ashen hands. And I'll walk up to, to my orc pal and I just kind of, Put like Carnival kind of put their hand on the forehead and just kind of. Yeah. <laughs> you still want to mix uh. them? And you see the the a little half leg in the wheelchair just kind of comes like, oh, I love that one. It's so fun to watch people drink. What that would happen one. if you would mix this other orange one that I have with your brown one? What? On a dry. Well, mm -hmm. well, you you can try if you want. Will it only be enough for one? portion even if you mix it or will it be enough for two i'll do it i mean no <laughs> i'd say i'd say because it's it's two i mean if i had to guess again i don't really go about mixing them too often because it already it was already a pretty precarious process to make them in the first place but i mean if it, that was one dose and that was one dose in theory that's two doses i feel like you could get you could split it give me give me your bottle and i'll drink half of both and then i'll give you, you the other kind of pulled them in at the same time uh, sure yeah um, I'll, i I'll have two away. hands Sure, exactly. you do. You do. Yes. Right. I'll hand. Uh, I'll hand you the potion. <laughs> I'll try <laughs> to pour only half of both of the bottles at the same time into my <laughs> mouth. Oh, okay. That's how we're doing it. <laughs> Mix okay. it in the mouth, baby. <laughs> Mix it in the mouth. <laughs> I'll slosh right. it around, but it's probably gonna be more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you need to roll a d10 for me. Uh, yeah. Uh, ten. Oh. So you're sticky for ten minutes. You have an extra minute on on Dutch of being sticky. Hmm. I'll. Do you hand the other like? Do I see that the same yeah. thing is happening to to corpse grinder as the, as there is yeah. to me? For the moment, you notice no effects from the brown. Hmm. You just feel the sticky, but the brown one does taste like the most expensive, like the nicest, smokiest whiskey you've ever tried. Sticky, but nice. <laughs> you can have. I'm going to try and give the whatever's left of the bottles, but it's like we're both sticky, so it might get a little <laughs> tricky to have yeah. each other the you, bottles. Like, it's not sticky like permanent sticking charm glue or anything, It's but you'll see yeah, a bit of effort. Like, ugh, like you can't pull a Spider-Man and like walk on walls sticky, but you would you could try <laughs> and then you'd probably fall off like and then fall down in a minute. Skin but... sticky so we get spider climb for 10 minutes. We can see. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not quite, not quite. I'll take the two yeah. vials and I'll just like pour See if I can like pour it to mix it in, in the vial that I have. Did it come Give with like me... a cork or something? Yeah, they had corks on them. Okay. Although if you're gonna mix them that way, mm -hmm. can you give me a sleight of hand check? Just to I'm see if you don't, you don't spill these. any. I know you're a rogue, it should be fine. So natural two, up. I lose these. Five. Oh no. <laughs> it's a five yep. total? Yep. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah um yeah. you 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 spill. So there's definitely more of the orange than the brown. Some of the brown leaks away, and you're not Shit. sure what that will mean. Hmm. Can I have another what brown? What about one? the yellow potion? <laughs> the the yellow one. What kind of number is that? Yellow. Hmm. Um. The yellow one. It, the yellow one is like a nice like punch of sour right to your tongue, but then like a really subtle sweet aftertaste. So it's not too bad. 
You get through that first like second, and then it just tastes really good, and you get really nice breath. Hmm. I'll take two of those then. Okay. Four copper, please. There you go. And I'll chug one right away as well. I'm in. Okay. <laughs> um, can you roll a d4 for me? D4, okay. One. For one hour, you have an enhanced... You notice everything around you smells so much better. You can smell the pastries your friend Van Helm went off to buy as if they were right next to you. The smoke from the bonfire, which is like 50 feet away, now smells like you're right there. So you get the feeling this enhanced your sense of smell. Oh. Do I smell good? Dude, when was the last time you took a bath? This... I... I psych... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was afraid of that. I, I take my baths together with Squeal, so... Uh, that, uh, I need a drink for this. Uh, give me the second potion over there. <laughs> the, the orange one that your yes, friends please. got? Yes, Okay. I only have gold, though. I, I can make change. Yeah, okay. Fine, give ho it to me. Ho hopefully not everyone comes as... as wealthy as you though i'm gonna run out of small coin by the end of the night she makes change gives you back nine silver eight copper and one of the orange bottles okay if you don't mind being I'll sticky i want to be sticky too there, there you go roll a d10 for me so to just roll to just roll mm. one dice on D, D beyond do you just type in the game log like so uh, i don't know how you do in that the bottom left there should be like a little button it's like a little d20 oh oh yeah yeah in the bottom left up. the red uh, red right. circular button Wait, I pressed four times now, so D1, and then roll. A one. <laughs> a one. So you're only it sticky for one minute. So you, you get the you get the taste of delicious nectarine, like concentrated nectarine flavor, and you're going to be sticky for a minute. Just enough to forget the previous conversation. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <clears throat> Excuse me, dear. Okay. Yes? Can I, can I have two of the purple ones, please? Of the I purple? Two of yeah. them? Uh, okay, sure. And she has a little bit... Oh, four copper, please. I will give you I... six, because I've been here before, and I think I... How's, how's your mother? I think she used to run the ship before you, right? Or was that completely someone yeah. else? Yeah, yeah, she did. How did you know? You don't look I... like you're from here. I'm not from here, but I've, I've been here before. For the festival. Oh. Oh, well, many, that's fun. Oh, then, then, then you must know exactly what this does. So you're good. Here, okay. And she takes the six copper, the tip, and hands you two of the purple bottles. Whoopsie. And Loom will chuck one. All right. Uh, and save do you have the other one. All right. You notice no effect. Um, the rest of you, Bloom, what are you thinking right now as you drink it? Oh, what it tastes like. Hold on. Uh, so it's sweet, but spicy and not in a heat way, but in like a flavor way, like the aromatic spices, you know, something like garam marsala or like turmeric or something. It's almost like there's that really aromatic underneath the sweetness of the liquid. It's kind of like drinking like a dark and stormy cocktail, like a cocktail with ginger beer, but then a sweet syrup in it at the same time. So that's what it tastes like. It tastes delicious. Good stuff. And what are you thinking as you drink it? Um, I think Bloom would just think that she's happy to be around people again. I'm just happy to be back at the festival. All right, all of you start to hear in your head, just a voice, oh, it's so nice to be back here, this festival. I remember mom talking, or I remember talk, I remember hearing about it before. And just, you, you start to hear the thoughts that Bloom was just sending. For the next hour, everyone, everyone within 30 feet of you, hears your thoughts, Bloom. I'll like hey it. guys, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I actually knew this, but I thought it would be fun to see who would take the purple potion. I'm looking at the rest of the... Well, the only and one Bloom, that's... you don't know. You don't feel anything different. I, I do I hear like... it in her voice? Like, do we Pardon? know it's her thoughts? Yeah, yeah. It sounds like her voice in your head. My eyebrow raises, like, three inches, and I, I just look at her like... Wait. What's wrong with you? you you're never this talkative. Oh, I'd normally like to talk. Didn't say much. Right but now you're saying a lot of things. And I guess as you say that, you probably get thoughts from Bloom, like, what the fuck is he talking about? Like, you, you, you hear Bloom's confusion. 
we probably can... just like just something like oh, those young people. Wait, yeah. <laughs> always, always hearing voices. So OSG, just... this means for the next until it's an hour in game, you also have to narrate your thoughts for us, please. Okay, well, <laughs> let me write it down because I will forget that. I've <laughs> also written it down. Like I'll try and make sure I remind you. But Bloom, do yes. me a favor. Could you just think the sentence? What a time to be alive. I want to. I want to test something. Just think that sentence. I will do so. What a time to be alive. Fascinating. Whoa, hmm. what? And you all hear the weird question. I get question. it. What a weird question. I get it. I get it. It's it's cool. super rude. Should we tell her? <laughs> no. uh, I think it's fun. It could be fun if you don't. Right? Yeah. It could be fun. You all just hear. Tell me. What are you talking about? <laughs> I swear, the people, the younger they are, the weirder they are. <laughs> okay. So that's that's all I'll say about right. the subject. <laughs> so and Pixie says, thank you so much for, for your patronage. I appreciate it. I'll be here all night. Come back if you want. Yeah, we're, um, weren't there six of us earlier? As we all walk away, you all hear Bloom. I think I like her her, her mother better at the shop. <laughs> That's fucking <laughs> <laughs> Dude, maybe oh, you yeah. should read it. Wait, wait, I have a book here. Please read it and just read that for the next hour. I thought this would be fun, but I think we're going to have issues here. <laughs> Aww, kill Joy. All right, so did one of you mention your, your friend, Opti? Yeah. He, I, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, we were with six of us, right? Where's um? Yes. Well, what's only, face? only five of you came over here. Pixie no, says, he went to and go then get a pastry or something, I believe. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, I was gonna oh, say, no. everyone, I... everyone, but um, no, actually, yeah, everyone, roll me a perception check. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Uh... So perception Ooh. is again that long skill list on your sheet, Gmail, and it's further down. I guess yeah, nice. I roll with the matches since I can smell a lot better now. <laughs> you rolled you rolled a 14 okay no. everyone else did, did anyone Sorry. roll 15 or higher nope all right do i do i roll with advantage 16 like smell better or is that unrelated um <laughs> no not to this unless you're very familiar with how van helm smells then <laughs> no uh, i guess not no. <laughs> you've been doing an elmenar yeah. mm -hmm. all right Three, well um so yeah none of, okay you all just start I looking around for your friend you rolled yeah, a 14 I had a, I, I had a 16 Oh, 16. Okay. So you all look around for your friend. You look back towards the pastry booth that he went to. He's not there. You look around. You're like, where the heck did he go? Bloom, as you see the booth, you notice on the ground in front of the booth, um, you notice a coin purse has fallen in front of the pastry booth. And you go over and pick it up. And you'll notice there's initials on it that are embroidered. And you recognize them as Van's initials that he embroidered himself on your way here. Well, like the week that you've been traveling together. A few coins have been spilled out and the purse has been partially kicked beneath the table as people pass by, almost like someone maybe tried to like get it out of sight, but it didn't fully go under the table. Wait, <laughs> we, we, can, we can hear Bloom's thoughts, right? You can. Yeah. Yeah. So, Bloom, <laughs> so Bloom, no what, do you think, what do you think as you see this coin purse and go over and recognize it? Oh. They are so messy nowadays. They can't even look after their own stuff. And we'll just pick it up and show it to the rest of the group. Well, I didn't found him, but I found his money, so he can't go far. Wait. Mm. Oh, would you I can do a thing. Mm -hmm. You can do a thing. Because I'm a Clash <laughs> Star. A Wait, I can... Um... Mm. Because I'm a Kalash Tar, I... Hold on. Hold? <laughs> oh, no, I have to see him. Fuck, never mind. Alright. So yeah, right. Bloom comes over to you all and shows you the coin purse belonging to your friend. Um, and a quick glance through the crowd, you didn't see him. Does he not need this to buy pastries. Oh, he does, so 
don't think he can go too far without realizing, oh shit, I lost my money. Is there anyone like at we're at the pastry booth, right? Or stand yeah. or whatever. Is there yeah, someone, you're like, is there you're someone selling it. pastries? Yep. There's just like a human woman kind of like a bit on the the heavier set side, probably because she's you know has to taste test a lot of her work throughout the day. Um looks a bit older, probably like fifties, mid fifties. Um, dark hair, blue eyes, and just like dealing with customers. She hasn't, she's not really like paying attention to you guys. Um, ma'am? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Did I, did I miss you? Were you in front of these other customers? Well, did I? Uh, just, just want to take a moment. Um, we're looking for a friend, and you mentioned he went to go get a pastry. Um, haven't heard or seen him in a while. Came to check, and his coin purse is on the, on the floor here. Would you have happened to see a man of insert description? <laughs> the color, like the very colorful half elf with dark skin and tapered ears. <laughs> yes. um, um, well, I mean, he 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 came here. Yes, he bought he bought a pastry. He bought mm -hmm. a Danish. Um, and and then he was just kind of, and then he came in a bit of a crowd. Like there was a bit of a rush because we just opened, and I, I kind of stopped paying attention as soon as you know the transaction was made, and and I saw him just start to eat it, and it looked like he was about to just. You know, stroll, stroll away. I don't. I'm sorry. I, I don't. I didn't really pay that much attention. We've been very busy all night. And she, while she's doing this, she's still, she's still handing out pastries. Like she's multitasking hard right now. Is she lying to me? Um, with roll me an insight check. Uh, blah, 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 dirty twenty. All right. Um, you get the sense she's not lying to you. Mm -hmm. she 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 did not pay close attention to him um you do get the sense though that she she seems anxious um but you don't get the sense it's because she was lying seems anxious All wasn't I... there someone who could smell like very good here like can't you smell where, <laughs> where you went to like a dog i mean, <laughs> I mean I, if i know his smell but do i like would you, I, would you, I know you knew his smell i saw you smell yesterday i mean <laughs> You were talking about my smell just yet, so why don't you know this smell? <laughs> <laughs> Your smell's hard to miss, you know? I know. I've worked very hard on I'll it. Use my... I call it a musk. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use my Kalashtar mind-talking thingamajiggy um, to mentally, using telepathy, talk to... Mm -hmm. Everybody, really, everybody. Um, yep. Tell them that um, this woman isn't telling everything. She seems quite anxious when I brought up a missing friend. What do you suggest we do? This time you all hear Bloom. Uh, not another one of those that can't talk in my head. You'll, you'll, if it's the first time that I've done it, or that that that, that uh, Kana has done it, you'll you'll recognize their voice and you'll know that. Yeah. They'll be like looking at you as a group as well, kind of like uh, while communicating that. I raise my eyebrows. <laughs> I don't know. Can I? Uh, using my eye for detail mm -hmm. uh, ability, I can make an investigation check to uncover or dis or, or find or to uncover or decipher a clue. So can I mm -hmm. try and use that to look for a clue? Whereas I can maybe see, yeah, if he got dragged away or or anything. Sure. Anything. Sure. Go ahead. Make an investigation check for me. Uh, fourteen. Yeah, uh, you start to look because um, uh, you notice like, again. You see the the scuff mark as if the coin purse was kicked under the table. So now mm -hmm. you you know you feel certain that someone was trying to obscure the coin purse, okay. meaning that he didn't just drop it. it so and, and this the signs on the ground hint that there was maybe a minor um, scuffle, but very quick, very fleeting. Like it wasn't a big fight. It was like there was a quick maybe like. He was surprised, like, oh, what? And then and then it seems like it calmed down really quickly and you see some footprints leading away in, like, just the dust on the ground. 
With that in mind... Because it's like a hard-packed earth you're standing mm -hmm. on right now. It's like a dirt dirt grass. It's kind of like that, like the, the town square. So it's not like cobblestone or paved roads or anything. It goes from a bit of grass to like just hard packed dirt road almost. And then the outer edges are lined with cobblestones, but most of the booths are taking up the cobblestone part. With that in mind, I'll look at pastry lady. Use my telepathy to, to become a voice in her head. And I'll, like, Sherlock Holmes expose based, you know, I deduce that based on these clues, <laughs> there was a kerfuffle, and... Yeah. Basically... Um, look her very, like, sternly in the eyes when I'm doing it, and just basically say, like, there's something you know. You should fess up before we get authorities involved. Um... She can't reply back to you telepathically, can she? Like, if she thinks really hard, you're not going to pick it up? Is it not like message? <laughs> in the meantime, I'm going to queue up. <laughs> I'm going to stand in line. To stand in line for a pastry? <laughs> yeah. Getting hungry. Um, well, and I, can while, the, while... I can give the creature the ability to telepathy speak uh, okay. back to me. Okay. Yeah. Do you do you do so? Okay. Aye. So you see, still while handing out pastries and trying to not now she's actively trying not to look at you, but her eyes keep like flitting back to you while she answers. She's like, "I'm I'm sorry. I can't I can't say anything. They'll 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 take my daughter. You just just follow follow the follow the tracks." Uh, and looking now, trying very hard to hide brimming visible anxiety while she continues to just vend. From her stall. I'll back off and I'll, I don't know, we're like in the streets, I'm assuming, right? Yep, it's just in the big, like, middle of city center, town square kind of okay, vibe. So I'll kind of just, like, go across, like, get a, get away a few feet and look at the rest of the group, communicate what she just told me and just kind of stand there and, and I'll wait to see what everyone else does. Uh, I'll follow him. Still standing in line. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty long line. <laughs> it is a long line. She's very popular. You get a sense yeah. that her her baked goods are very in demand, and it looks like she even has some that she only makes on the night of the festival. She has some very special pastries out, and that's why there's the line. So I'm waiting. Um, I, I try to do a charm person on on, on it to, to see if I can find the latest, or if she can still tell us what the real issue is without a. Uh, uh, being afraid of what happens to a daughter, though, but it's one of the uh, okay. skills. It's a charm person, right? I mean, that you can if you want. Let me just double check the the text. I think it just means you get advantage on charisma based checks. So then, if you yeah. can either persuade or intimidate her into talking, you you get advantage on whichever one of those you would choose. Um, yeah. Let me just check. Spell. That's good for the rest. I mean, charm yeah, person. So ahead. she would make a wisdom save. It fails. Charmed, and they regard you as a friendly acquaintance. Oh no! All it is is they regard you as a friend. So that she, I guess, yeah, it just makes her a bit more willing to talk. Okay, and then so you I can go ahead. Her and I can, come on, don't worry, right. lady. We can try to help you, but tell us what's going on. We can only help you if you're telling us what's behind after those tracks. I will say you had to wait in line with Corpse Grinder <laughs> to get talked to her. So there, that's another 15 minutes. Um, oh I'll say that you had to wait in that line. Uh, but then, yeah, while Corpse Grinder is buying a pastry, and they're not magical, they're just really good pastries. So, you what, know. What? <laughs> I spent one silver piece on pastries. Damn. Sure. Don't know what it gets me. You get, but... you get a very special, um, like, braided donut that has, like, black... Like, uh, it's icing that's chocolate icing, but it's been almost tinted, so it's almost black. And then there's, like, stars and moons in it decorating. Like, clearly it's a night festival-themed, very special recipe. And the inside has a filling that has a flavor. You have no idea what it is. You just know it's good. It must be, like, a unique, uh, like, fruit or something local to here that you haven't tried before. Awesome. Um, I share half of it with my big squeal. Oh, I'm very sorry, um, Kirora, but she rolled a natural 20 on her wisdom save. No. So she knows, she feels the magic, and her eyes dart to you, and um, she panics. She looks both, like, angry for a minute, but then scared, and you just go, okay, um, 
uh, shop's closed. I need, I need to, I have another batch. In the, uh, I'll, I'll be back. Shop's closed. And she just pulls down like a little awning from the top and like closes and goes back into, cause the booths, like the booths are set in front of a lot of the storefronts that they're linked to. So she just retreats back into her storefront. So you scared okay. her away. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but I think the issue is that, uh, Corb's grinder made her, uh, scared. That's why she closed the shop. <laughs> so. I mean, that's not that surprising. As um, you're having this discussion, oh wait, Opti, go ahead before I before I say this. Most people don't really get scared of me. I am a kind soul, and that's like a you. lie. You know it. Yep. <laughs> I, I read it in my books. It's the eyebrows, but don't worry about it. <laughs> so while you're having this discussion, and as there's a bit of a crowd, like, oh god, like damn it, I was hoping for a page. I waited all year for those donuts, and just like people being a bit disgruntled. No one's like blaming you or looking at you. Just general like, oh, I'm dang. And they're I've like given half, half of my pastry thing to my piggy, but like whatever <laughs> I haven't shoved into my mouth yet, I'm giving to the person right behind me. Oh, well, that's nice of you. They're just like, it's... thank you. And they take it because they're like, I really want the donut, but this is a little weird. And they kind of just like tear off the part that you ate from and try to eat the rest. Um, that's fucked up. So as you're having this conversation, you start to hear just starts of like, he's, he's missing. Thea, Thea, where are you? And you hear this like high pitched, like shrill um, voice breaking through just a general like music, crowd noises, crackling of bonfire. And then you see a middle-aged human woman dressed in colorful skirts, um, just kind of like go poking through the crowd, looking very worried, brown hair with like some streaks of gray in it. She does have a cane as well for balance. And she's just going up to people um, asking, like, things like, like, have you seen him? Have you seen Theon? Where's Theon? Where's my son? Can I ask a uh, question real quick? Because um, mm -hmm. Kirora got a letter from someone yep. that talked about disappearances. Yep. Uh, did they at any point when recruiting us tell us about people yeah. disappearing from here? Actually, the, Kirora, that's a you question. What did you like, tell the group you when, you, that when you recruited this you party? Were going to check out disappearances because someone asked you when you needed people to help you? Or would you just been, like, mysterious about it? Uh, I, I didn't read about this in my book, so I can't know everything about it, but I, I think the main reason they might be disappearing is something we have to investigate here. I'm, I heard rumors, but I'm not sure this is what we have to believe. I mean, my friend, uh, Professor Redbone, he's a good colleague, but sometimes he drinks too much of the sticky stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the sticky stuff. <laughs> the sticky stuff. <laughs> All right, well, I love it. rumors of disappearances, our friend going missing, and now that mother yelling yeah. about someone else who disappeared seems to check out should we just go check the tracks i mean there must be something behind um, those tracks they're pretty fresh i think so we do because we should probably also talk to to that lady maybe she yeah probably seen something or something i don't know good idea um so which, which, which do you do first <laughs> well i mean i'll happily stay behind to check the tracks while the rest goes to talk to the woman, that's fine. Yeah, okay. I'll talk to the lady. Split up and look for right. clues, gang. It's my jam. So, while they talk to the lady, um, Dutch, yes. yeah, I believe you're passive. Your passive's fine. Uh, yeah, so you find um, oh, the footprints they talk about. So yeah, there's those marks of scuffle, and then you see two sets of footprints uh, leading away, and they are leading off to an alley out, like, out on the outskirts of the festival, and there is a manhole cover there, like that looks like it leads underground, okay. like a sewer um, lid kind of thing. And it's a bit rusty, but the rust around one like corner is is gone, uh, as if like maybe it's been handled more like that, and it's been lifted off. Can but I while you're around... finding that, oh sorry, I, I was yeah. While ask... you're finding that, uh, we're just gonna do the quick what they yeah, talked to okay. this woman. So who? Who specifically is going to go up to and approach? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm definitely talk. All right. <laughs> um, she, as you go, she goes, oh, oh, do you, have you word? Have you seen, have you seen my son? And then sees you from it. It's like, Ugh, and just has a, a quick, but then like shakes it off. Like just not used to, because the festival always brings some like, you know, adventurers and foreigners. So this is still like slightly typical, but it's like that getting used to it every year. Um, oh, you're afraid. Oh, um, um no, sorry, I was just... Missing. Yes, right. um, his name is Theum, he's 16, he, he's a good kid, he does, he's never wandered off before, this is very unlike him. When, when did you notice he was not by your side? 
just just moments ago, and I, I don't know how I missed it. He's generally very nervous in crowds. He sticks by my side throughout the festival. I don't, I literally turned away for one second. I was just distracted by the performance. It was just so lovely. Did she say six or 16? 16, her son. He's a 16. teenager. Yeah. Okay. In that case, um, you, all, you all hear Bloom, because that's, that's still going. That, that is still going. <laughs> but I I, I'm, I'm assuming I You're probably fucking go, kid, huh? It's because I'm like, far <laughs> away. It's 30 feet, so if you're more than 30 feet from Bloom, then it stops, yeah. Fence, uh, where's the manhole, I guess, right? <laughs> probably be some something like... I'd say, yeah, you don't hear Bloom's thoughts anymore for the moment. Probably something like uh, that age. He's probably just heading off with, uh, with a girl. Well, um, Bloom, I understand why you think that, but one of ours just got missing as well. As you say the, the as you, you as you say the one of yours goes missing and you're also trying to run she just like the tears that she's been kind of holding in she it's like she hits her breaking point you hear mention someone else has disappeared now she's like fearing the worst she just starts bawling she becomes like the the hysteria mom the panic of just like my my oldest is gone like and barely you can barely make out what she's saying just I tried to about, call it happens so I... fast he's he's a good boy he's he's strong he's not easy to grab he's not a child and she's just like i, <laughs> I tried to come closer but slowly and and place my giant possibly still sticky hand on her. <laughs> okay. Okay. no it's not it is not sticky anymore because you had to wait 15 oh, is... minutes oh, true, to get the pastry so you're no longer no sticky. that's true okay <laughs> Uh, that would have been hilarious, though. <laughs> as that as that happens, just, you all just hear just a confusion slowly, from Bloom. <laughs> I, I softly bet her, I'm like thinking, we're going to find your son. You have my word. Uh, okay, and like just like she she'll take any help she can get. She's like, I don't know who the fuck you are, but sure, <laughs> okay, um. Um, her friend, a friend of hers comes over through the crowd, drawn by her, like, hysteric sobbing, um, and realizes something. And so she kind of, like, pulls her away, like, it's okay, it's okay, we'll find here, I'll help you look. And just, like, starts to calm her down, and they go back to just asking around. Um, uh, but yeah, she's, unless you have anything else you want to say to her before her friend pulls her away. Uh, general description of what the boy looks like. Quickly, please. Uh, yes, uh, the blonde hair, uh, kind of, kind of tan, because he, he loves the outdoors, just not crowds, um, brown eyes, a, a bit of a, bit of a stocky build, he, 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 he helps out a lot around the house, a lot of the heavy lifting, you know, so basically, like, bu buff, blonde, tan teenager oh, is missing. He'll be fine, but we'll find him. Oh, okay. Just, he's just so, this, he, he's just so nervous around really people but especially crowds i just worry about someone taking advantage of him you know i just i i i, I have no idea where he could have gone and her friend and she starts to like verge on the the edge and her friends like it's it's, it's fine raya raya calm down it's, we'll find him and like chills her out meanwhile oh, dutch yeah. you Hi. said you because you wanted to do I something once you found the manhole cover anybody watching me or the manhole like does it look like i am being watched now that i'm nearby anything along those lines Make a perception check for me. <laughs> 14. Nope. Uh, you feel pretty mm -hmm. confident. You look around. You don't see anyone on rooftops. The, the festival area is vision? pretty crowded. Like, Do I, do I see my, 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 my group? My comrades? Um, Maybe... Uh, Opti, are you pretty tall as well? I'm fairly large, yeah. Yeah, I'm like you, you, you can see, foot. you can see Corpse Grinder's head poking out above the crowd a little bit. The rest of them are kind of like embedded in there, but you, you get the sense. Can I kind of do one of these. There. One of these, like, see if uh, the whistle, yeah. yeah. See if, see if Corpse Grinder hears me. Um, yeah, with your, I say your passive perception is high enough, you'd hear the whistle. Um, from I, I recognize all sorts of pitches and <laughs> this particular whistle, I know. I'm like, Belongs to hmm. a six foot Kalash star. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Horrible sound, but I know Hi. it. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you look over, I'll just kind of, I'll just kind of be like, you know, to, to like motion you over, and with I, that, uh, hopefully, the rest of the group uh, comes as well. Gano's looking for us. To wh right, whoever do, might be with me, I don't know. Uh, I'm just. Yeah, I'm, I'm there as well. I'll follow suit. Okay. So you all convene over by Kana. You guys learn anything? Yep. Um, 
there was this that lady that was screaming her son is apparently missing um he doesn't like crowds he's a young boy he sort of strong i guess i don't know she doesn't know but she's uh, she's worried and i gave her my word that we'll find him I don't want to be rude, guys, but the longer we wait, the further the people get that just got kidnapped or got disappeared. So, I that's, mean, that's what I maybe claim. we should... Uh, I found the tracks um, that, that I found by the pastry uh, place. Uh, they led to that manhole over there, and it seems, judging by some of the dirt and rust being, uh, being, being gone from one of the parts of it, that um, somebody touched it and moved it relatively recently. So... Manhole. Off to like the sewers or. Presumably. They have mad acoustics in there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. That's fucking great, dude. I love that. <laughs> uh, Alright. Right, I just I going, already man. get going. I'm 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 hyped. He's already fucking just lifting. Alright, so <laughs> well, who's gonna try and lift it? Not me. I'm not strong I... at all. <laughs> I'm oh, fairly uh... strong, and I'm but together yeah, with uh... with yeah. Okay, whoever's gonna try and lift it, make a strength check. If someone's helping you, with advantage. Yeah, go ahead with advantage. I guess though. So. Cool, cool, cool. Yo. <laughs> Let me let me oh. quickly. Do we get a double oh. nat twenty? Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. Yeah, you you just fucking lived like you almost you have to catch yourself at the ends. You were about to just like yeet the manhole cover because it, it was so easy. You're like oh shit, wild. don't want to you know injure anyone. All right. So you notice it doesn't seem to go into a sewer as you would think, and the manhole cover is it's four feet by four feet. It's big. It's not like you know like it's very mm -hmm. big. Um. All you see underneath it, there is a wooden platform with a lever in the corner under this hole. Huh. And it can hold all of you comfortably. No, that's a lie. It can hold two of you comfortably at a time. I'm sorry, I've not read about this in my books. I'm not going first. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'll go first then. Who's um. joining me? Just our strongest two go in first to make sure, you know, well, just in case. Well, uh, you know, um, I'm not going to leave Squill behind, so I don't know if... Does does the pig fit with me and Elminar as well, or does that... Does pig count as one? Does pig count as person? Does, does pig... pig... No, no, one of you could okay. carry the pig. I'll say you could do that. It's fine. Because a... it says it can hold two medium-sized characters, like, comfortably... So I'll say it might be a bit okay. squishy, but with the pig, you, yeah. can, you can take the pig. Okay. He's, a, he's, he's a little bit of a hefty pig, but not he's not a boar, you know? <laughs> oh, All right, so... Uh, then first, the, the big ones, I guess. <laughs> All right. Do you pull the lever? Wrong? Yes, wrong. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's not a pull, it's a push... Unfortunately. Oh. Anyway, um, I do pull. Cool. Cool. So you push, you push the lever, and it starts to just gently descend at a steady pace. And you see, there's a chain system, like pulley winch situation, uh, a bit creaky, but seems pretty functional. Um, and it lowers you down about 25 feet into the ground. The first 10 feet is like a circular shaft, like pretty man-made. Um, and then the next 15 feet, it just kind of like opens up into like a bigger, like you've cracked the that layer of the rock that was there. Now you're in just an open underground cavern for the final 15 While feet. While they're going down, I look around to make sure nobody's fucking watching. One more time. Yeah. Like, just to be sure. Go ahead and make another perception check. <laughs> That's a seven. All right. Uh, you get the sense, like, the music's so loud, the general sounds of, like, crowd merrymaking. Like, you know, it's it's a festival. It's a festival people wait all year for. So you can't really... No one seems really to be looking at you. And it's pretty noisy, so you don't think that the noise of the platform will have drawn any attention. Um, you two can go next, I'll come last. Yeah, because when you get to the bottom, if you push the lever yeah. again to the other side, it'll bring it back up. The platform. Yeah. Can, can, can you bring, bring it back up, man? <laughs> we'll, we'll bring up the platform again. Yeah. 
Okay. Who's who okay. are the next two to go down? I'll go down. I'll nod at Bloom, uh, Bloom and uh, Kirora. Okay. So then, Kana, Kana, you're last. Correct. Okay. Okay. Um, what do we see when we uh, when we get down there? Pardon? What do we see when we get down oh. there? Well, about to tell you. So the platform lowers into an unlit square room with passages leading off in all four cardinal directions. So like northeast, southwest. Um, each passage has a rusty gate across the wide doorway, presumably intended to allow carts to move through, like mining carts. Each passage has a letter over it, indicating north, south, east, and west. The north gate is almost entirely open and appears to be rusted in place. The south gate is fully shut, but seems to be very rusted through. You can even see some like very small holes poking through it. The, to the west, the gate is wide open, and to the east, the doorway is bent inward, looking as though it was not meant to be opened that way. And I'm about to drop you a real quick picture slash map in your uh, in the Discord. For those watching on stream, sorry, um, I didn't really give these too much uh, to Dutch as enough time to prep the overlay. They're pretty simple. It's more just for them to be able to place. Like all of these should be pretty easy to theater of the mind it if you're watching or listening, but just to make sure. So where it says MR in your image, that's like where the platform landed. And then there's a bit of a, a ramping like descent down into that main room. And those are the four doors. And those rectangles that are angled, that's like the angle that the doors are either open or shut on them. Right. I'm I'm asking uh Alminaru um with like Do you think there's uh <laughs> people yeah. waiting here for us? You mean like right in this room? Oh, well, by the way, you are close. only barely making out those doors. Let me quickly check. I do have um, dark vision. Six I was dark like, who, who, vision has, who has dark vision? Because, like, Kirora, you don't on your sheet. Uh, uh, wait, me well, neither. Yes, I do have dark vision. Oh, where does it say? Am I blind? It's, it's, it should be it under senses. It's under... Feature. Oh, features. I'm I'm looking under proficiencies for some reason. No There's wonder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have dark vision. Proficient in dark vision. I don't. Yeah. I'm blind. Okay, so everyone, everyone can see same, the doors. Same for me. I'm also blind. Okay, Kana and Bloom, you don't quite see. You can see the west and the north, maybe dimly, like very barely, because you're right there. The east mm -hmm. and the south passageways, you probably wouldn't be able to see oh. unless you got closer. I have a I have a little hooded lantern with all, with all lights, lights in a box. Oh, perfect. Okay, once the lantern's lit, you guys can all make out these four branching tunnels, passageways, north, east, southwest. Thanks, dear. Okay. But uh, do you think there's, you know, people waiting for us? Because I, I really want to check out these acoustics here. Well, we're investigating the kidnapping, so probably. Yeah. How about you just what? check the... One hit. <laughs> yeah, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> take my drumstick and my, my big drum and I just slap it at fucking loud as I can. <laughs> but I don't it makes a, a very satisfying <laughs> echo. I like, you love it. It's great. Cause especially because the roof is like almost a little bit domed even as well before that shaft opens up. You hear it ringing in your ears. It's it's a little too loud. <laughs> you had to do it that loudly, right? Yeah, exactly. Satisfying. Thank you for okay. understanding. <laughs> Aren't oh, you? I totally, I totally lied. Look at the image. I said your platform was where the MR is. There's a hill. It's not. Your platform's in the middle. The image says it. I just can't read. Oh, just never mind. But yeah, well, you're in the center of the room, and you see those, those doors. Wait, what was the the MR? Then? The mining rail? No. Was MR just means main room because I have main the whole room. map. Okay. This is one right. piece of. Right, 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 right. Okay. okay. Cool. Well, um, we've got four ways to go. Um. Yeah. I suppose well, I could, like I could try and check for tracks some more, but I doubt it'll be as easy as it would be topside. Because I'm assuming the floors are just like made of stone or some shit, right? Yeah, now here it's stone. And there's even a few, I'll the occasional stalactite, my... stalagmite action going I'll on. I'll use my attention to detail feature to try and discern any sort of clue regarding the hell is going on. Um, <clears throat> which means that I can, uh, yeah, I can... What is it? Eye for detail. Um, yeah, I can. I can basically just always make investigation checks to try and see if I can find clues. Because yeah. I, I'm, I'm smart or something. I guess I don't know. Uh, investigations are plus seven, so that's sixteen. Sixteen. Yes. Um, 
you see that all of these passages have been used somewhat recently um, in that there is the faintest, like old, but it looks very like old use. Like the, there's footprints that are like embedded into the stone, almost like, you know, when people like wear down a path, like you've walked the same route for so long. So mm-hmm. all four of these have been used over time, but there is nothing that suggests like recently because again, there's no dust, there's no mud, there's no, there's nothing really to disturb. It's just rock. Is, is there something I remember from the past? Because uh, before going to town, I studied the city a little bit. Was there something written in my books in the past or not? Make a history check for me. Mm-hmm. I will do it on intelligence. And it is uh, 19 plus 5, 24. Oh, damn. Okay. Damn, um, I'm you smart. Do, <laughs> you do remember that there are, you remember reading about two ways that the mines descended because uh, these you get this these are the mines the town is known for is prosperous for because rail came to be um it's like a mining town because they found rich deposits of gems um mm-hmm. under which although also you make a point notice there are no gems there's no sparkle there is nothing it is just rock nothing that you can see right now suggests these are the gem mines but you know that's what they must be um and you know that they had both like manually constructed shafts with like stairs and platforms and like ways down, but they also had um, enchanted mine carts that they could use. And there were tunnels. There was like a tunnel network throughout the city. Um, you, you do not know which of the shafts go which way, but you do know that there are two ways down that you can look for. And two ways. Okay. Okay. Cause this is, is like an entry can... level. Is there someone who can smell something good or anything still? Or I still smell stuff, yeah. Yeah, you can. It's not been an hour. I'd say by now it's been like half an hour. So you still have 30 minutes left of your smell-based advantage. You can say you smell bacon, but... uh... (laughs) (laughs) Do you smell anything that that, that stands out? Uh, Roll a perception check with... Was it? Oh, no, it's... um... It is advantage, right? I think so. You find the page that I put. Oh no, it's a plus two. So you get a plus two on top of whatever your normal right. perception is. Right. Because you're focusing on smell. Ooh. That is perception. Oh, that's great. That's a uh, minus one. <laughs> so, that's, uh, so now it's a plus seven. one because yeah, of the- <laughs> 17 total. Okay. Not you bad. do smell the faintest hint of pastry. So you feel like your party member uh, was definitely down here. So you know you're in the right right place. Right, and And do I go the direction? uh, You smell a whiff of it, both, um, it's kind of everywhere, um, and it's hard to pick out like which passage. If you had to make a guess, I'd say you think it's coming from the East Passage. Um, hmm. It kind of smells like pastry that way. Since our friend got some pastries, I, I, I'm guessing that's the right way. So he, he did get the pastries. Apparently so, yeah. I can definitely smell them. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so shall we go east then? It's as good a clue as any. Sounds like a good idea. All right. So if you head east, and again, the door to the east was described as it's bent inward and looks as though it was not meant to be opened that way. So it's been, that door has been forced. It looks like it was meant to open the other way into the thing. Um, so as you, you enter, as you can see, the passage is about 10 feet wide. So you'd probably be walking like two across, like double with one person in the back. Um, so can I get your marching order. Of your, you're going to go down that tunnel. So who are the two in front, who are the two in the middle, and then who are in the back? Given that I'm the one oh. with a lantern, I'll probably be up front, kind of like oh. the way ahead. I will be in yes. the middle. I'll be front as well. So, I'll be in the middle also, if that's okay. Kana, then I'll be closing ranks. Kana and Elmenar are at the front. Uh, we have Bloom and Kirora uh, behind them, and then Corpse Grinder at the back, and Squeal. <laughs> and Squeal. Cool. You're never alone then, right? Yeah, you're never alone. Never. All right. Um, so as you walk in, 
something feels something feels off, but there's nothing that seems immediately out of the expected. Um, it seems like it's a relatively newer, like it doesn't look like some of those doors with the rust around you get some of this has been made, you know, at the beginning of the in town, like the inception is decades old. This maybe looks a bit fresher, like 10, 20 years old. Um, there's an air about it that doesn't feel right the further you walk down the tunnel. Um, so, it, and it's, it continues straight for, for a few minutes. Uh, roll me a perception check, everyone, please. Ooh. Do I get the punch? No, this is, this is, a this is not purely based on smell. This is all your senses, so. I got nine. So Oops, nine. Six. Six. Six, nine, Bloom. Twelve. Twelve. And Corpse, you had 18? Yep. And then Kana, you had 16? Uh, natural 19 for a 19. Oh. Okay. Um, so Kana and Corpse Grinder, um, you'll notice the further in you get, there are these deep gouging marks on the floor and the walls. Uh, and upon closer inspection, they are without a doubt claw marks made by a creature. I'll like kind of put my lantern down close to one and kind of look at the rest of the group. You reckon that's the same check? thing that's bent that door inwards? I check my own hand <laughs> to see how much bigger it is. <laughs> Can I uh, take back the knowledge I had of uh, possible creatures it could be? Because um, of all the lore proficiency and stuff I know from the past or... Uh, roll a history check with disadvantage. Because again, this was your professor. This was why Professor Rathbone was here. This was their specialty. It's not yours. Yours is much more about like the mental, magical perspective. Mm -hmm. I think she said we can do it. <laughs> Just, kidding. Just kidding. Yeah, Laura, yeah. Laura completely froze. Oh, oh God. We lost the DM. We lost the DM. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, oh wait. Am I back? Left the room. back. She, oh, am I back? Frozen. There we go. Yep, there yes. she is. Uh, I was Ooh. just about to oh, throw nope. it. Oh. Oh. Am I back? Teacher left the room. <laughs> Teacher oh, no. left the room. Oh. Hey, oh. I'm oh. the DM now. <laughs> Laura? I am the DM now. Laura? Oh, no. Nope. Yep. Uh. Am I back? Yes. I left. Yes. yes. You are. You are. Hello. Okay. That's funny that it's just me because I don't our internet because James is in chat what typing. <laughs> So it's clearly Discord, but anyways. Um, so, what were we? What was happening before my interview? You were, you were. I was checking oh, my, yes. my books, and you said told me to do a perception check. I think it was. Oh right? no, history, history, history but check, with sorry. disadvantage because you've probably heard tertiary ramblings of this from Professor Rathbone, but this wasn't your area of focus. Okay. Uh, how do I do uh, a perception or a, a history check without? Just the... roll the, roll the history check twice, and we take the lower of the two numbers. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I think first in the one... you should be able to select how many d20s you want to roll. Um, oh, for a skill check, you could not have mind. Ignore me. Yeah, okay. just roll it. Just so click it twice. Eight plus five, thirteen, and uh, seventeen plus five, twenty-two. Okay, so the thirteen because it's disadvantage, we're taking the thirteen. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, not really. Like, you remember, again, the letter mentioned three creatures that he wrote you, but this these claw marks wouldn't really suggest any of those creatures. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of at a loss. Uh, you can rule out the three in his message, but okay. you, that doesn't help you with what this is. <laughs> you I know, know what it's is, not. I know it's a creature. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. I, is, is, are the claw marks significantly larger than my hands? Um, what? Why won't you tell me the size? I would say yes. I'm gonna go with yes. <laughs> I, I I take my ba hand back a little, a little scared. <laughs> you reckon it hurts? Maybe not tongue? not bigger, but something. Something of your size, if your hand had claws, then it could have been like mm. a you size creature. How how far do we still have left on the tunnel? Like uh you are. I'm I'm about to send you the next little little map here. So I'd yeah. say you are about halfway down this first tunnel. And like the bottom far? the bottom of that that shape. It's like a an inverse C right now that this will eventually go. 
you can't see that yet, but I have no way to make the image smaller. So you're in that first tunnel. You're in the bottom half of the seat. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. And I'd say you're probably about, actually, you're two thirds of the way in. You're getting close to the corner. You're going to round the corner soon. Okay. You reckon it heard your drumming? I mean, it's a very good possibility, I guess. Then it wouldn't have left. Hmm. Maybe it's waiting for it, us. What what way is it going? Is there so is there a sort of a way for the claws? Just just like a horizontal slash across okay. the wall. Slash. Not really. There's no. Not like the vertical, TV. like clawing down, just like. No, a... but but not like it's um, it's more like a slash and not necessarily clawing its way through yeah. the hallway. Yeah, or, they're like yeah. there are occasional isolated slashes, yeah, and okay. the one that um Kana. It was investigating. Um, if you look closer, you'll notice there's also a bit of a dried reddish brownish tinge around the occasional claw mark, reminiscent of blood. I will put my lantern from my right to my left hand. With my <laughs> right hand, unsheath my rapier. Just have it ready, just in case. All right. <laughs> Do you continue uh, down the tunnel? I'll have my rapier ready as well, and uh, yeah, continue. Rapier twins. <laughs> All right. I'm drawing swords now. So as you get to the very end of that tunnel, you see that little, like, very small rectangle on the bottom of your map that looks like a doorway in the wall. It's not actually a door. What you see is there's, like, a hole dug through the wall, but not, like, manually constructed, geometric, like, very rough, animalistic hole dug through the wall with dirt and stones scattered around. The ceiling sags a little over the hole. Like, it looks like it might be able to collapse at any second. <clears throat> and if you look down, like, kind of just peer into it, you just see darkness. It goes off into, like, a narrow, narrow cave and then darkness, and it's too small for any of you to fit through. Do we do I see something with dark vision still or nothing? No, even though it just it's a narrow tunnel that extends into blackness. Okay. But you are yeah. it's too small for any of you to comfortably fit through. Uh, guys, wouldn't it be small to just like put this down to make sure that nothing comes out of it, or at least that we have time to come out to, to just um, escape in case something comes out of it? Escape. Like, like a fan of Corpse Grinder, for instance, or I mean <laughs> I welcome all my friends. So, um, are we tearing it down or not? <laughs> I, well... If we turn down anything? the light and they don't see nothing. Do I have anything to tear it down? I don't have anything to tear it down, but I could... put some ball bearings down so that if something comes out it might strip. I don't know. <laughs> Best I have at the moment, I'm sorry. Work. But I don't know of anything, unfortunately. We're going that way, right? So, what's the use of doing things here? We we gotta go that way. Okay. Right, of course. Like, like there's one way. It's forward. Or, it's well, just, it's just in case something decides to crawl out of that hole and come after us. You know. From that way. Yes. Hmm. Um. The pig will squeal. I'll what look the... at the pig. Does it look like he'll squeal? He always <laughs> looks like he will squeal. His name squeal <laughs> for a reason. So. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Take your word for it. All right. So you're going to keep walking down the... So now you're crossing into the, the vertical part from the image I sent you. So you're going northward now. You take a, a 90 degree turn headed north. Um, and as you continue down the passageway away from that hole, a low, baleful sound starts to echo down the hallway. Um, make a perception check for me. Fourteen. Or everyone, or? everyone, yeah. Kana, you go first. Fourteen. Thirteen. Thirteen? Okay. Uh, corpse? Seven. Seven. Bloom? Eleven. Elmenar? Uh, Fourteen. Kirora? 16. All right. Kirora, only you notice that that howl is coming from behind you. 
Uh, you mean from the hole? From the hole behind well, us? Behind or? you. You just all you know okay. is behind you. And then I need all of you to make a wisdom save. Guys, did you hear Should that? Put the fucking ball bearings down. So <laughs> to make a wisdom save, Gmail, the left um smaller Fuck. window on your sheet where it says saving throws, click the number next to whiz the plus four. Wait. I ever just have have um, whiz plus four. You just can Check. see what's on them. Oh, because okay. I'm a class, I have advantage in all wisdom saves. Thank God. There you go. Shit. I'm guessing it's not uh it's not against being charmed, right? All right. Um so let me double check. No, it's not be yeah. it is not to be charmed. No. Okay. okay. I got twenty. Or, you got or, twenty. Dirty twenty. Nice. Uh, and sixteen. Sixteen. Well, sixteen plus four. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um El uh, Elmanar? Uh eight. Eight? Kana? Uh, that, went, that went from... <laughs> that went from uh -huh. a 3 to a 19, because of my advantage. Nice. So, and Bloom? It was wisdom, right? Wisdom, yes. It's 24. Okay. Everyone but um, Elmanar made the save. Um, cool. Elmanar, you hear this this baleful howl from... Bo uh, and you, you don't know where it's coming from. You've heard nothing like it. So you are now frightened uh you are considered frightened and oh no, guys L let's let's get out of here let's as go. as you let's all go. turn around uh because kirora heard where it's coming from you see from out of the darkness behind you uh this black canine wolf hi hybridy figure start to just like be haunches up walking towards you out of the shadows almost seeming to meld into the shadows at times Two piercing yellow eyes lock on the party, and dirty teeth are bared as it steps closer. Despite its large muscular size, nearly five feet at the shoulder, the hound is surprisingly silent, although the sound of its claws scraping against the stone can be heard with every step. Um, and then, since Kirora turned around, Kirora sees the one behind you. Sorry, the rest of you are still facing the other way. You see two yellow eyes appearing in front of you as well. So you are sandwiched oh. by these two <laughs> hounds. The hounds look as though they've been in the underground for years, adapted to the perfect hunting grounds, and they're hungry. Roll initiative. Let's you go. also hear a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hear a pig freaking out. <laughs> oh, I'm chucking balls. So to roll initiative, like Gmail, it's next to your armor class, towards the top of your sheet, yeah, oh, the plus two that says initiative. Okay. Uh, oh, I have to roll initiative for these two, don't I? <laughs> I have three. You do. <laughs> Yo, that's higher than I have. <laughs> <laughs> I had a one plus two, so three. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, this is oh annoying. Boy. The, the stat block here two. has like skills, but it doesn't have just their base stats. I'm like, I don't know what their dexterity is. I need that. So oh, I have to look boy. it up on the internet the hard way. Okay. Um, oh, really? That's weird. doesn't I have it. So it's just a straight minute. roll. It's just a straight roll, I guess. It's a straight roll yep. for now. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> And typically, it'll, okay. it'll say like dex uh, and that sort of yeah. thing. I know, but it doesn't. I just have, uh, they have a bonus to two skills, but there's no, no other stat on here. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, um, 25 to 20. Nope. Uh, 15 to 20. 18. Bloom got 18. Okay. Hida goes first. Fantastic. Yeah, don't you hate that when you're the healer and you're like, what am I supposed to do? That's why I um, never heal. <laughs> 15, no, uh, 10 to 15. Oh my god, guys. No. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, five, five to 10. Eight. Nine. Okay, we have a nine and an eight. Okay, so at nine we have Kana. Kana was the nine or yeah. Elmanar the nine? No, oh, Elmanar was the nine. nine. Okay. Um, Kana's eight. Oh. By the way, guys, I realized Kana, I've been misgendering Kana. Kana's they, them pronouns. So anytime I said she, that's in my bad. Um, okay. Um, one to five. I have three. I have two. Oh, God. Okay. Man, this is, three. uh, we're a bunch of stinkers. No. What's the <laughs> three? Speak for Kirora. Oh. Um, and uh, Opti, you got a two? Yeah. What's oh your deck? We all suck except for Zero. Shatter. Okay. All, all ladies are quick. <laughs> I guess I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> you spry. You spry well for prepared. an old gal. Okay. So, Bloom, 
you are up first. As you can see, this this hallway is very narrow. You're in the vertical hallway on the map that I sent you. And I'd say mm -hmm. you're about dead center. You guys are in those squares. So because of the double, what was our march here? So um, Kana and Elmenar, you are in the two squares that are like the top of that, where there's like a doorway in the wall on the right mm -hmm. side. It's not really a doorway, but you're at the top two squares of that. Bloom mm -hmm. and Kirora, you're right behind them. So the bottom two squares that would line up with that. And then mm -hmm. Corpse and Squeal, you are one square beneath that. So you're at the squares just beneath that marking. And then the one hound is far ahead of you, like right at the back. And one hound is back behind you where that hole in the wall was. So the hounds are about... The one behind you is 25 feet away from Corpse. And yeah, they're both mm -hmm. about 25 feet away from your party. Okay. One front, one back. Okay. And uh, which one am I afraid of? Um, you're f both of them. You can actually no. Oh. You're frightened of the one behind you. You are not frightened okay. of the one in front of you. I will say. Cool. So I Bloom, can... you are first. What do you I do? Can't use this. I can't use this. Hold up. I'm looking. <laughs> um. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Calm that time. <clears throat> Let me have a look because this is all healing. I love being healed. Really help. Oh, heal me. You are. I we we can we can allow me help you. Um. Sorry, I'm, 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 just... I mean, you can always, uh, you know, as just a rule, general ruling, hold your action until someone else You can! You can something. hold your action until someone takes damage, and then heal them. Uh... Can I do this? Hold up. No, I cannot do that. Fuck. Um... I cannot do this. They're too, too far away for this. Oh... <laughs> I hate... I hate clouds. Already. <laughs> <laughs> well prepared. Well prepared. Very quick. Um, oh, I can do this. Fuck it. The one that's behind us, I'm just gonna. Yes, I can. Yes, I, I can. literally can't. I'm gonna use Guiding Balls. Ooh. So I just oh, well. realized I have this. Okay. The one on, that's what I actually have. The on one which one? that is behind us. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll an attack. Uh, then spell attack. Team yeah, loss. Oh, spell attack 15. 21. Woo. 21. Yeah. yeah, that hits. How much is this? Um, 4d6. There we go. All right. Just double checking. Yep. Yeah. God damn. Uh, yes, 11. your question in the chat, Gmail. Yes. Fine. So you can do it without using a spell slot. That is 16 radiant damage. 16! Okay. Yep. Um, to the one behind. Well, okay. Yeah, behind us. Okay. And whoever attacks that one next now has advantage because it is lit up by a faint glow as this guiding bolt of radiant energy comes from Bloom. Oh, yeah. Bops it in the nose. It looks upset. Man. All right. Oh. Elmenar. You're next. No way. What? Okay. They rolled a two and a six on their Ooh, advantage. <laughs> Although I realize now what that should have been because I can see their dex modifier and that should have been a little bit higher, but that's my bad. I've already, I didn't have this pulled up in time. So too bad. They're, they're lower in the initiative order now because I, I fucked it. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Elmenar, yeah, your yeah, go. Man. Um, well, I am gonna go up to the one in front of me and uh, use Inflict Wounds. Oh, okay. Uh, roll for attack, because that's a roll for attack spell. You still have to it see if you is. can touch it. Ooh, that is... Uh, ba -ba -ba. Uh, ba -ba -ba. That is 12 to hit. 
that misses you you go to reach out to it and it you know i've said before it almost can like meld into the shadows it almost seems to just like sink into the wall like it just oozes away in the murky darkness and almost then like reforms per se so you reach out and just whip oh no mm. oh, oh. It's you, to move up. you also oh. have to move up to its range oh yeah that's fine yeah I'll, I'll okay first. just making sure uh, 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 um yeah that's that's my turn because i cannot really do anything else okay um kana you're okay Okay, is one of the boys uh, still glowing? Yes, the one behind you is glowing. So you would have to... It? It's it's only... It is 30 feet away from you, but you also have both Kirora and Squeal in front of you because you're that's very tight-fitting. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the rules are about if there's someone in that five-foot square behind you. Like, you can't... Because the halflings have that. They can move through it because they're tiny. I, no I don't idea. think you... I don't think you can move through them unless they move out of your way. I, I've the way we've always done it is that party members will automatically okay move, move out of the way. Them. Yeah, I would I, I would say that's fair. It makes sense. You're not going to sit there and like. No. Okay. But, 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 so, yeah, you can reach him. Then I'm going to walk up to Glowy Hound. Okay. Because that means I have advantage on my attack, right? Yes, it does. Mm, it means I got sneak attack. Yes. Sneak attack. Mm, and we'll say, it, because you had to move through your party members, it didn't see you coming, and then you move fast enough to just get there. That's okay. how we'll justify your sneak attack if it hits. Uh, that is a 17 to hit. Misses. Again, it's... You, you go... To, you're sure it's there. What? You go to lash out with whatever you're attacking with, and you just uh -oh. hit this darkness. And it's next I... to it. You're like, but it was, it was just there. They move uh, through these shadows incredibly seamlessly that it's hard to visually track them with your eyes because they just blend in with this darkness would you allow me to say i drop my lantern and get mm -hmm. a dagger out with my offhand sure and i want a bonus action stab with a sure. dagger two weapon sure yeah yeah that. do you drop it before you run at it like is it in the middle or do yeah, you drop probably, it in front of like, the like like okay. drops it and yep while walking, so it's still kind of just there in the middle of everyone. Yep. Oh, shit! Does that remove the uh, the glowiness, even though I miss? Uh, yeah, what's works. the text on Guiding Bolts? Can you check it for me, OSG? Um, Is it just the next attack, or until the next attack hits hold up, hold up. that it lasts? Oh, the next attack roll made against the target okay, before so the end okay. of my turn. Advantage. Okay, so it's it's gone. No more advantage. All right, that's fine. Haha, <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> All right. So that's, the that's hound. A, oh, 16, is there anything else you want to do? also not going to hit, right? Oh yeah, no, no, it doesn't well, hit. Barely see it, right? <laughs> so I'll because you, like you go to back. hit it the first time and it like yeah. almost like slithered in the darkness. So then you go to the dagger. It's like okay, well now you're there, haha! -ha, and all of a sudden it's back where you thought it was before, and you're just like, what the? I'll heck? like yell back at the rest of the group. These things are bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is, the, is my potion still in effect? Yeah, they can hear your thoughts. And that gets you all here. Young people can't hit anything these days. <laughs> I'm about to choke this old lady, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, maybe she likes it, you don't know. That's yeah. True. Next is the hound in front of you that Elmenar uh, ran up to, and it's 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 still feeling pretty good. Um, it is going to go for a bite attack. Um, why the balls? Did I move my dice tray? That was ow. That was dumb. Bite attack by the balls? Is he gonna... <laughs> bite attack. Bite balls attack. Uh -oh. Um, you are lucky. I'm rolling the way I roll, so that is a twelve to hit. Yeah, that misses. All right, so it goes Boys. to reach out, lunges for a bite, and you just whoosh, just like quickly turn your body sideways, making the target smaller in the nick of time, uh, and it doesn't manage to bite you. And yeah, that's all it can do because it's already done its howl and it failed its attack. Uh, next is Kirora. Um, maybe just a new question. Would it be logical to do logic to do, or would it be logical to do something like see invisibility for for seeing the the dodging? I mean, or? they're not going invisible when they dodge. Like the yellow eyes never disappear. Oh, they just okay, seem to. Okay, okay. It's just they just seem to be one with the darkness of this tunnel and the fact they've been hunting down here for. They've been trapped down here for years. Like they. Even if they couldn't see, they probably would know this place with their eyes closed, but the darkness is their bestest friend. 
Okay. So, yeah, that one helped. I'll attack it. Thank you. I'll attack with a firebolt. Hmm. A firebolt? Okay. Yep. Um, roll an attack. Actually, okay. so on firebolt, roll where it, click where it says plus five. Okay. So I don't have to click on the 1d10 fire. No, right? not yet. No, if if you hit, you'll click on that. But first, okay. you got to see if you hit them. Um, I get 19 plus 5, 24. That hits. No so way. you just go to be like, take this. You don't like the light, so here you go. And just lob a firebolt right at it. So now click the 1d10 for me. Okay, that's a three. Oh wait, which, also, which one are you attacking? The one that was in front of your party or the one that was behind your party? So there's one uh, with Elmenar up engaged with it and one with Kana engaged with it. Uh, wait, let me check. Um, let's go for Elmenar. Okay, so the one in front. Yeah, okay. yeah, the one in front, because you already hurt that one, I think, right? Yeah. No, that one remains unhurt. The one behind you... That's also. the one that kind of tried to attack him. Oh, my bad. I, re I reversed it. I reversed it. Yeah, sorry. That the, w the one in front is hurt, yes. Okay, so the one in front. I'm going to attack the one in front. Okay. Roll your d10 for me. Uh, you already I did. did. It was a three. That was just as much as you needed. How do you want to do this? Describe how this firebolt kills this hound for me. In the face. <laughs> okay, so just right in its snout, right between those glowing yellow eyes, you just, you focus on the eyes only, because those are the thing that remain constant, and you just, mm -hmm. whoosh, hand goes out, firebolt comes out, and it's, all, for the first time, you see the silhouette of its body as the flames from your firebolt engulf it, and it just seems to, like, crumble away from both the flames and the light, and that one is gone. Nice. So now there's only the one engaged with Kana left. And it's that one's turn. Uh, it's upset. Because so it's, it's buddy. You killed his buddy. Um, <laughs> it's going to also go for a bite attack on Kana. Stop it. That's a 16 to hit? Yes. All right. Um, da -da -da. It does eight piercing damage. Ow. What? And I need you to make a dexterity save for me. But you win these. So uh, yeah. <laughs> 17 yeah you make it um so it, it doesn't trip you or get a bonus attack it just gets the one bite so it reaches out and the arm where, where your dagger your second attack it just and it just latches on to your arm and and tries to take a chunk out of you and you have some nice nice teeth marks now and it hurt <laughs> all right corpse grinder your turn um so you're still in the middle it. of that tunnel and yeah. uh, Kana and the Hound are behind uh, where you came from. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to look that way uh, and throw some very nasty words his way. Okay. I'm going to tell it that it's a horrible hellhound. Um, and I would like a wisdom saving throw from the dog. From the doggy. Um, if it's a 12, that's a plus one, right? If it's stats a 12? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, 15. That is enough. Uh, it's fucking dog. Dude. So that's nothing. <laughs> that's just fucking nothing. That's crazy. It's that's shit. If, if the dog it. could laugh at you, it would. It just makes this, this like, growly rumble from its throat while locking eyes with you. I like the you. growly rumble from the throat. I enjoy that sound. Yeah. Whoopsie. I'm just checking something from the potion you drank earlier. Oh. Oh. Uh, hold up. Uh, uh, hold up. Hold. Special brown potion. Potion shall Damn. I? Damn. All right. Uh, as, You're dead. As oh, you too with, bad. As you... What's that? What you were trying to do, is that considered a spell attack? Like, what's the, uh, the, the text say or the classification say? It's a I don't think so, because... Oh. Yeah, and, and I had to roll. You Spell attacks are when you rolled a hit, right? Yeah, yes. Okay. Yep. Okay, then nothing happens. Cool. Okay, good. Um, I know not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so we are now back at the top of the initiative. Bloom, it is your turn. Um, I After this combat's it. over, we'll take a quick bathroom break, by the way, for anyone that, that Science needs Science good. I just saw one of my one of my party members with a little... Yeah, I got my booty pipe. Right? <laughs> a little chump from the... Yeah, yeah, Kana's arm is... It's like a third of my uh, HP, dude. It's there's there's basically like a nice little chunk out of Kana's arm right here. Just 
bleed. And I don't want to get closer, so I'm just going to stay where I am. I'm just going to cast Healing Word. Nice. Um, uh, uh, one D4. Ooh. Exhorting. Spell cost ability modifier status plus four. You got six health back. Hey, it's almost back to full. Oh, yeah. So now, now you just have some like puncture marks. The chunk, like your arms healed up and like the fresh skin's back, but you just have a few puncture marks with some blood still kind of just trickling out. Appreciate it. These things are still bullshit, though. <laughs> All right. It's kind of, of seems like when I did it, it seems like there were like little cherry blossoms that were covering your arm. Oh, Cute. Pretty. Healing it a little bit. Anything else on your turn? No, I'm just going to stay where I am because I'm right. safe here. Elmenar, the hound you were facing is now dead. What do you yeah, do? The other, one, the other one I'm scared of, right? Yes. Oh, fuck. Actually, wait, let me check. Um... It does yeah, not say well, you get to wait, save against wait, I, it. I forgot something. I forgot something because of the thing I have as a cleric. Mm -hmm. You get more. Uh, <gasps> you get three extra. I'm back to full. Woo! Wait. Give me one sec. Oh. Elmenar, you might. Something. Something here might be coming in, in clutch for you. Give oh. me one sec. Watch champ. Uh... I wrote this down because I both forgot and I still forgot it. Natty, <laughs> I'm going to DM you a question real quick. And you need to answer yeah. it for me. Right. <laughs> Secrets! The answer is yes. Because <laughs> I looked at your character sheet and you oh. didn't fill it out, so I need you to just oh, let me know real uh, quick. I, <laughs> Don't say it out loud! Me. Just just type it. No, no, no. <laughs> but I didn't actually really think about it. Well, yeah. then make a gut decision right now. Uh, <laughs> tick tac, tick tick tac, tick tac. <laughs> we need an answer now! Knowing, knowing what you know and what we talked about. Okay. Then, yeah, you're still I, frightened. I think that would make sense. Okay, you're still frightened. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. Um, frightened as I cannot move towards it and I have... It says you right? must you must take the dash action and move away from you by the safest and shortest available route until there is nowhere to move. And you're the, right now you're farthest away from it in terms of that vertical hallway. You could start proceeding down the other hallway if you want. Well, let, let's go because I have to, right? Yeah. So, Later. what? How much speed is your dash? Uh, total sixty, like thirty normal. Uh, okay. Dash thirty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 20. So you're almost at the I... end of that. You're almost at the end of that top hallway now. You're just gone. You're like, I helped. I hit the one. I'm out. You guys can figure this out. And you're gone. So you guys just see Elmenar <laughs> book it down the hallway you have not gone to yet. Elmenar's back. <laughs> Kana, you're up next and you got a hound in your face. Can we shout stuff at El El um, what's Elmenar? Like, where are you going? Or, or doesn't it make sense? On our turn? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know. I didn't know it was a turn. Okay. Yeah. Um... yeah. When we're an initiative, you can only do things on your turn other okay. than reactions. Reactions you okay. do based on things that happen around you. Perfect. Okay. Um, as a bonus action, I'm going yes. to use an ability called Insightful Fighting, Ooh. which means I can make an insight check against a creature I can see that isn't incapacitated, uh, contested uh -huh. by their deception. So okay. I roll insight, you roll deception for the hound. Okay. If I succeed, okay. I get sneak attack, even though I don't have advantage on the attack roll. Okay. Oh, a seven charisma oh. means it'd be minus two, right? Because an eight would be minus one. Yes. So below eight, minus two. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Oh. All right. They rolled a 17 deception. Natural 19 oh. minus two. I rolled a 17 <laughs> as well. I'm sorry. Oh. So that means, well, then you would probably um, win because. I'm an inside, ch I make an inside check. They contest it, so they have to meet or yeah. go over. So therefore, yeah. they meet so it. So you therefore... win ties. Yeah. Uh, no, they do, right? Because I'm oh, the no, one meet that does or go over. Yeah. yeah. They have to contest yeah. or beat it. Yeah. So right? it, so they it, win, it, technically. It, yeah. Fuck. Sorry. I, <laughs> Again, well, fuck I never roll this good when I'm a player. This no, is not what happens. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm going to try and just rape your, the fucker still, I guess. All right. Uh, go for it. Oh, uh, that's a 19 to hit? Huh? Mit. Misses. What? <laughs> so you miss again. It's just like I, you you go to hit it, and that was just a shadow. The hound's actually just next to it. Your sword like just skimmed it. And a nineteen. 
with a 19. It, it has an AC of 20. It gains total concealment in any condition of illumination other than full daylight. I'm sorry, friends. Yeah, this I fucking is... realized I had to do something with light and I dropped my fucking lantern. <laughs> I'm mad at myself. Uh, mm. I can't even use my bonus action to pout because I used it already. I'm done. Fuck this. <laughs> All I'm right. Mad, mad. Um, it was the hound that is dead's turn. So nothing happens. So Kirora, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to use a magic missile. Uh, which is actually Ooh, three, that's fucking big, three glowing darts, <laughs> right. but smart, smart. smart. But I'm actually using them simultaneously, and they strike at the same time, so I can hit them like in the hallway yeah. exactly. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's one magic missile auto hits, doesn't auto it? Hits. Isn't that like yeah, yeah. it's it's yep. whole deal? Yep. Yep. Um, nice. Yeah, All right. Yeah, I, I knew that. <laughs> so click click where it says one d four plus one. Okay. Click that three times because you bolts right uh one yeah. plus one is two and then uh three plus one is four okay so two plus four is six and then plus one another plus one two. two eight yeah. so you deal eight nice. damage to it very nice no so pain. you just those missiles go out pew, 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 all hit their targets and you hear a bit of a a quick like the the like the noise of pain from the hound, and then just right back to the snarling, and it's it's upset. It's it's very upset that you hit. It's not used to being hit. It's very angry. Um, it's now its turn. So in response, goody, goody. it still has this. Still, mm, do you, does it? Nah. I mean, there's still someone right in front of it, and as much as it wants to hit you, because you just hit it, the easy game, like, base instincts, the prey is right there. So it's gonna go for another bite attack on Kana. That's fine. Kana. I got healed. I can it's take fine. it. It's fine. It rolled a natural one. You're oh, good, Kana. Get fucked, you're, you're set. It's, it's, it's so upset and thrown off by the magic missiles that it lunges for you, but it was still kind of looking at Kirora, so it misses. It's thrown off. Um, Corpse Down. Grinder, you're up. Yes, um, I look at it again, and I, I, I kind of want to go to it and slap it in the face, but then I'm like, hmm, they look hard to hit. So I tell them. Away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tell the them, fact that the only consistent is their eyes, you can't even see the shape <laughs> of the house. Stay. <laughs> I like... tell this doggy, doggy dog, bitch. Your mother was probably a bitch. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> and I, I would like another wisdom saving throw. Um, that is fifteen. That's enough. So nothing happens. You need to stop, Laura. I'm, I'm, I never <laughs> roll well when I'm a player. Okay, I'm sorry. I could have chosen to give you three hounds, and I brought it down to two. Okay, and I feel like that was the right choice now. So oh, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> no one's okay. dead yet. It's okay. No one's dead yet. One All right, uh, we're back yeah. to Bloom. Bloom, it's your turn. Uh, hey, I'm hey, just hey. gonna gonna stand there. Watch me burn. I will hold my action in case the dog attacks and hurts someone. Okay, so you're holding and your action then... until it bites or someone's injured. Okay, yep. got it. Um, do you want to do any movement or anything? Or bonus actions? No, I'm, I'm fine by him. Okay. Uh, Elmenar, your turn. You're... Right, you can't even see it anymore. I mean, technically, <laughs> it says you're in the range, like, the, actually... Yeah, you're in the range of measurement, and it says you should still be doing that, but I'm like, you're around a corner, you can't even see it. Up to you. Uh, you can move through. At the end of that tunnel, there is a door. It is open. You can go into that room and continue to run away, or I'll give you the option to stay there, because this whole map is not as big as the range that this hound's frightened thing fucking works at, oh so <laughs> I so feel we'll like... you running through the entire You will. Thing. You'll be running through the whole map while your party fights this thing. Jesus. So... Um... Yeah, I don't think I would... Like, I, I, I guess I would just stay put. Yeah, because uh, you're like... You're like, I think they got, like, you're still too afraid to go help your party, but you're like, yeah. now that you can't see it anymore, you're not in immediate danger, the fear has lessened enough that you're not in pure bolt mode. 
So we'll say also, you like, do, do I actually get a say for it for it to break through it? Or it doesn't say. It just says when the Yeth Hound howls, all creatures uh, must succeed at a wisdom save or be panicked on each of its turns. A frightened creature must take the dash action and move away from you by the safest and shortest available route, unless there is nowhere to move. If the target moves out of range of this ability, the effect ends. But the range is three hundred feet, and oh you're in a small God. tunnel, so. Would breaking well, would breaking line of sights like negate the fact that he feels like he has to run? I'm gonna go ahead and say it does at this point because now that you've run, you've turned a whole corner. You've taken yeah. it. You can take this turn to not move, do nothing, and use your whole turn to compose yourself since you've broken line of sight and get like get your grips, get tell your support yeah. yourself together. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> My okay. man about to aggro the entire fucking dungeon worth of enemies. Yep. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, Kana, it's your you're back. Your go. Goody, is it? <laughs> Roll I'm high, <angry>. baby. <laughs> I'm mad. Especially with your, like, sneak attack. I guarantee you, you'll kill it if you hit it. You just gotta hit it. Yeah, about <laughs> that. I, bonus action, insightful fighting, or whatever the fuck it's called. So the deception check yes. again from it? Because I want that sneak attack if I do okay. hitting. I rolled an 11. I rolled a insight, insight plus four or twelve. There you go. You're good. I mean, that roll's not the problem. It's it's the fucking hitting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come, on. Come on. If you succeed, you can use sneak attack and target. You can do it. Advantage, but you do not get advantage on it. Yeah, right. Cool. No pressure, but pressure. You know? Come on. Exactly. I'm trying to read this because it says, even if I don't, yeah. Oh, it only works when I don't have disadvantage. Okay, that's fine. Right. Okay. Fuck it. Oh! That's 17 plus 5, 22! You hit! You did it! Holy fuck. How many dice is your sneak attack? Two. Two of these. And how many, of the, how many of them do you get? Two. Okay, a plus you're rolling a what to hit with the on top of that? Like your regular... Are you gonna so that's, take away my ability to roll damage because you think I killed it already, Laura? How dare you! I I'm mean, gonna I'm gonna do the math. If you auto kill it, even if you rolled minimum, <laughs> but no, I think it's fine. You can roll. Uh, it's a five plus eight plus a two plus nothing, so that's ten plus two is twelve points of damage. It had eleven hit points. How do you want to do oh, this? Oh, oh, I'm gonna shove my fucking <laughs> rapier so far up its fucking <laughs> mouth hole, dude. <laughs> It's gonna, like, I, I'll go fucking Chamber of Secrets Basilisk sword through top nice. jaw through heads. I I'm, love it. I'm angry. Nice. I love it. All right, with I'm that, mad. you just do it. Like you said, just Chamber of Secrets it up, and you you finally <laughs> feel, even though it looks like all your knife is going through is shadow, but you feel, like, flesh resistance, and you just see it kind of, uh, like, the, the yellow, the glow of its eyes fades. Now they're just, like, dim opaque yellow and it's just uh and it slumps on your blade dead and the free the fear effect ends on you for sure now Elmenar, you can come, come back yeah. <laughs> i'll switch the group that was fucking bullshit <laughs> <laughs> and i'll sheath my dagger keep the rapier out so i'm going to pick up my yep. lantern unless there's anything anyone wants to do quickly at the end of combat we'll take a quick five minute break here just for like leg stretch bathroom grab a drink and then we'll be back sounds good sound good, good. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Sounds perfect. All right. Thanks uh, for hanging out, everybody. Chat. See you in five minutes. Year. Hit that follow button and all the good stuff. We'll be back in a few minutes. Gmail, you're doing great, bud. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> doing very Thank well. You. All right. We'll be right back, gamers. Hello there. Hello, Hello. Again. Greetings. Good. Greetings, yes. All righty. All right. Be back. Yep. So... You know what's behind you uh, as a party. You know where it came from. You you do not hear any more of that baleful, like, howling or anything. So you feel for the moment you are safe again. Would you did like... I, what do you do? Did I, actually, did I actually see anything when I uh, moved up ahead? You saw that the end of that tunnel opened up into a bigger space, but you did not see what was in that bigger space. Nope. Right. So when I, when I return to the rest of the party, I'll be like... Yeah, I figured you'd be able to get that one dog down as well. Uh, <laughs> we gotta scout ahead a little bit. Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> and because what I'm assuming is it's going to be a deception check, because I think he's full of shit. 
uh, because of my what's it called? Because of my ear for deceit, I could I get to treat any roll of seven or lower. My d20 is an eight, so at the minimum I can roll is an eight on my d20. Okay. Nice. So roll either a deception or persuasion. Oh, Although, oh. If we're being honest, it should be deception because you weren't oh, scared. Yeah, I mean, you were just scared shitless. So. Of course. It is <laughs> completely bullshit, but I, I figured that's just going to go for my dice when I roll it. <laughs> oh. He is, but I, I saw a number. Uh, that's a 21. That's 12. I believe him. All hard to All right. Hey. There there you go. Go. <laughs> Dash. Cat says, I don't believe. <laughs> yeah, he's he's getting it. Ah, Ooh, he's like he's like dice are mine, and you're like no. no. He's starting to chew on my cable. I was like yeah, no, oh, we're not yeah, gonna no. <laughs> just don't th don't pull no linty, and we'll be good. You know, don't yep. start chucking your cat over your head. You'll be yeah, honest. just none of nah. that, please. <laughs> like to not get cancelled. All right, so do you then head back in the direction that you were scouting earlier? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So what you will eventually come to as you go down that hallway is this, I believe. Yes. So this is what that room opens up to at the end. Um, so what these, all these different rectangles represent. So you come to a room that is feet by 20 feet. Wait. Arrow entrances, one entrance for each mine cart along the north and west walls. So all those rectangles... Because half of your story got cut out because you froze oh, again. Oh, sorry. Yep. Um, so the room is 60 feet by 20 feet, and there are rows of mine carts with narrow entrances, one behind each cart. So those rectangles in the middle are like the carts, and then the rectangle that would be behind them, like against the wall, is a, a doorway or a tunnel with tracks that the mine mm -hmm. carts would run on. Little lights hang over each of the boxes, but none of them are lit. Crates are stacked in between them. A couple of open ones have metal wires and some tools in them. There are a total of 12 mine carts and rails. Um, each one's sitting before a narrower tunnel. All but three of them have been chained off. So there are three that seem to be that they could be used. You mentioned, but none of them appear to be in working order. You mentioned boxes? Yeah, in between some of them, there's just some miscellaneous crates and corners of the room and stuff like that. Can I just like, have a look at a random yeah. crate? Yeah, they're mm -hmm. they're literally you don't even have to roll for it uh, with your passive investigation. They just have mining tools in them. So there's some like pickaxes. There's some um, containers, presumably for storing any gems or any valuable ore that they found. Um, stuff like that. It all just looks pretty standard mining Can equipment. I Nothing. Take one of the pickaxes with the idea of like, next time we see one sure. of those holes in the wall, I'm gonna just try and use the pickaxe to sure disturb you can it add enough a, for it add to Add a pickaxe to your inventory. Yeah, Go for it. Um, so the metal, like I, said, I mentioned, there was like a metal box next to, um, or in, in the mine carts with like little lights over them that are unlit. So there are several details to notice about the metal boxes that seem to power the mine carts. So if anyone, if, if anyone's going to inspect them, let me know. Or what do you do seeing all these mine carts? I'll, yeah, I'll have a look. I'll, I'll see right. if I can just deduce. Not necessarily interested in mine carts. Yeah. Uh, seeing, um... So, okay. You misspelled Minecraft wrong, but okay. So yeah. in this room, there's some mine carts and there's tunnels, but all tunnels are locked away, like locked off. All but say? three. All, all but three. three. Like all of them are barred like with chains and like um, wooden planks and stuff, but there are three. Um, okay. Each cart and tunnel is more or less the same other than that, like a mine cart at the front. And there's a mine cart at the front attached to a platform cart. So that almost like they're a mine cart, which has those boxes in it, and they could store stuff. Then there's a wider platform, so people could, like, the groups of miners, that's where they would actually sit or stand when yeah. the carts were in operation. Um, it looks like maybe six people would fit on the platform, a couple more if there were some sitting in the cart in front. And the wheels of the carts are chained. The ones where the doors are barricaded, the wheels of the carts are also, like, chained to prevent movement. Um, mm. Above each tunnel is painted a location name. The paint is faded and crumbling, but you can make out most of them. Um, things like East City, Lower City, Docks, Mineshaft 7, Mineshaft 3, etc. Um, it's worth noting, none of the carts are missing. So, they're all there. Mm -hmm. All the, the ones that are not chained off, the text above the tunnels reads, Mine 2, Docks, and Deep Mine. Can I uh, still smell 
cupcake or pastry something. <laughs> make make a perception check, and we'll say this is the last one you get with the plus two, because this will be the okay. last one before your thing wears off. All right. Uh, that's a dirty 20. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> I will say then, um, you smell the faintest, faintest whiff of pastry coming from the one that says Deep Mine. Of course it is the deep one, of course. Why would <laughs> Should we go deep? <laughs> Should we go well, deep, guys? That's my like This way, Deep Mine. It's never something inviting like, ooh, um... It's just pastries. Uh, circus <laughs> the bakery Party or something, tunnel. I don't know. Why bakery, would, no, it's always though, like... deep. Dungeon, dark. Where's the fun of yeah, that? A dungeon. I hate it when it's dungeons. Especially when there's dragons full. Of course. Is there Listen. something I still can still can use from the insights I had before about the deep mines? Something that we that might give useful information? Roll a history check with disadvantage. So roll the history twice, and we'll take the lower number. Okay. So Nine plus five, fourteen, and <laughs> twenty plus five, twenty-five. Oh damn! Something. Okay, yeah, fourteen. No, you just know. Obviously, the deep mine would have been added. Like all the other mine shafts, mine shaft two, seven, like three. Those are probably the ones that were explored first, and then deep mine is newer uh, of the of the shafts, but not that much. Not like recent or anything. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it would have been once they like delved the shallow area. It was what we found all the gems here. We got to go deeper. So that's. That's why it's called that, um, but you don't know much more about that. Okay. What do we do, guys? Well, our friend here says he, he can catch a whiff of go pastry deep from the deep the tunnel that goes to the deep mine, so I suppose that's, that's where we go. Where we go. Mm. Mm, All right. Let's go. Oh, uh... some deeps. So what do you do? Just go stand on the platform? Does anyone check out the front of the cart? Like, what do you? how are you interacting well, with these two carts linked together? Do we want to just walk and be quiet? Or do we want to see if we can get one of these carts to work and probably make a bit more noise but get there faster? Question. Well, I would say I'm if you take a look down... Way. If you take a look down, it is steep. You will not be able to do this oh. on foot. You need to be in the cart. Think like roller coaster tracks. Like oh, you're boy. gonna wanna. Mm. Is, is the cart big enough for five or not? Yep. Yeah, the the cart at the front is a bit smaller and looks to be almost like, if 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 you will, like driver seat per se. The back cart is a bit bigger and the back cart can hold six people and the front could maybe hold like another one or two. Can I make sense of how to control or you get get one of these cards to start going at all? Uh, with your passive investigation, I'll see. So you go to the front cart, and again, there's those metal boxes. They're about like three feet tall, two feet wide. They take up a lot of the space of the front cart, which is why mm -hmm. only one or two people can like fit in there. Um, and there is a circular yellow gem uh, in about one and a half feet wide. And there's a beneath that gem, it seems a pair of handprints is molded into the stone. Could you guys all hop on the back? I, I'm going to try something, but I, you know, just in case this thing starts moving all of a sudden, I want you all to be on the back card. Grab, little oh. squeal, <laughs> jump in. <laughs> Bloom just jumps up, up the backtrack thing. Okay, I'll hop in the driver's seat and wait for everybody to be secure and i'll put my hands in the hand print. all right it feels cool to the touch but nothing happens i push the gem nothing happens you rub some dust off the gem it seems to have a tiny bit of a glimmer to it but it's not like it doesn't press in it doesn't really seem to be responsive to you per se have you tried saying go go nothing happens this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sound, I know I'm going to sound pretty repetitive, but this is something I learned about in the past. Knowing um, about the history from cards and stuff like that. Roll, roll a history or arcana check, your choice. Let's go for history. Would I have maybe seen something like this uh, in six. my long life? I don't think so. Uh, mm, I, have, I have a six, so... Mm. Oh, you only rolled a six? That's a natural one. 
What do you mean it's a natural one? I had one plus five, so six. Yeah, yeah so yeah, natural, natural one. one. So no, you don't know a single thing. You're like, you, you've never worked in the mines a day in your life. Why would you know <laughs> what this is, how this works? Okay, I, I, I'm sitting in the driver's seat, right? You got the pickaxe, <laughs> right? I'm sitting there. You can There's hit two with hand the pickaxe prints, kind of like in like, the, like in the, the, the Yeah, the embedded, like recessed, embedded. like, yeah. There's a, a yellow gem. What? Does anyone not have their seatbelt on? Oh. <laughs> what Did is seatbelt? Investigate closely. Investigate this console or, or whatever it is to try and make sense of any of it. Because sure, roll an investigation check. Mm. Oh, dirty twenty. I tried to meddle. You do what, Opti? I tried to. I tried. I I want to meddle. I want to get in here and and <laughs> okay, push like leaning things over this while, fucking, like, yeah. like while you're investigating, this. while you're investigating, yeah. as Opti climbs into the cart. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, I want to. I want to ask a question, but then in asking, I won't want to give it away. Hold on, let me just quickly check something on your character sheet. Mm, um, fucking smart. Okay, Opti, I'm going to DM you a question. I need you to answer me uh, yes, in private. Yes, ma'am. Secrets. I hate you. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> You'll be fine, Cheddar. You'll have your it's moments. a simple yes or no, um, so it shouldn't be. It's just I need to know. Okay. Okay. As Corpse Grinder clambers, and he's like, oh, let me help you. Like, climbs over, like, okay. trying to meddle. And when you're rescuing, when his sword seems to brush the metal box the gem glimmers ever so faintly my actual sword you know your sword the, oh, i, oh, I your, saw you your, okay no nice. yeah. um no oh, specifically your sword like not kana's specifically his sword is it something i can touch with the staff or a spell book you can like, try with a book like <laughs> you can try <laughs> it also responds to the book if you try and not like uh, not hugely not like this is it doesn't feel like that's the intent but there is some sort of connection wait so mm -hmm. that's from my rapier does it also respond to that it does not bullshit it responds to magic <sighs> i tried to stop with the stuff again like with the again, quarter stuff response um and the the where the hands imprints are seems to maybe feel a little bit less cool to the touch like it briefly warms what but... if you what if you okay um i give it a try and i will <laughs> like there's like no no no, no, no. And never let the old people drive yeah it's getting real squishy in there just like hanging over us all yep. sorts of like, like yeah it's getting really everything. squishy up front right now kana you're gonna be like what the oh my god like you're a bit squished right now kana wait wait i think i got it I, relax i'm just hanging back i think i got it i'm gonna take the pick of uh our good friend uh corpse grinder and push it on the butt of the see if it works on the <laughs> Wait, okay, everybody relax. Um, All the pig does is squeal, nothing happens. Corpse Grinder, how about you put your it, hands... Something did happen, though. Put your hands in, in, in the handprints and maybe... You know, cast a spell? Is that something you can do? Fucking go! I <laughs> cast vicious mockery. <laughs> <laughs> you cast vicious mockery? The gem lights up, the cart starts to move. <laughs> and you better uh, oh. some of you better quickly get back in the back seat or you're on a, you're gonna have a rough time fitting oh, fitting so in the bad. all in the front. I jump in the back with the pig. Alright, there you go. You finally you finally got this cart to move and you start Did to you? go and it starts out slow at first. Chestbook acceleration <laughs> comes to that part where it gets steep. <laughs> And you get like a bit of a one minute roller coaster ride. No, like Damn. upside down or anything. It's still a minecart, you're not belted. But other than a few steep drops and some lurches, <laughs> you do. I'd say everyone, everyone, roll, roll me a everyone, roll me a constitution save. Oh God. Oh Red no. I'm like, so like, under I'm saving throws, Gmail, you want to click next to your where it says con C O N. Yeah. Am I still buzzed? Chick. Are you Am still I what? Still, am I still buzzed? Yeah. So oh, disadvantage God. for you. 
Uh, that's a that's a thirteen with his advantage. That's All right. Still better than mine. Okay, I had eight. Still better than mine. Eight also. Oh. Right. Anyone Eleven. who rolled below a ten, you puke at one point. Over hey. Yeah. hey. <laughs> oh, that's a problem because I'm in the front. <laughs> and it's over the side of the cart. It's not okay. like directly. Yeah. No promises. No promises. <laughs> so wait, is everybody puking except for me right now? No, 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 no. I passed. I had 11. Okay, okay. I failed. You and Elman yeah, are stomachs of steel. Everyone else is <laughs> not, not good. All right. So eventually the mine cart comes to a gentle stop. Some of you just being like, oh, God. <laughs> Deep beneath the city, far from the lights and the music. Before you could almost faintly hear traces, maybe at times of the festival. Now it's nah, you hear nothing except like water dripping from stalactites and maybe the occasional critter scurrying somewhere. Heavy dust settles on every crevice and each step echoes down a wide tunnel ahead. Torch sconces line the walls every 10 feet, but are void of torches to light. So there's like the empty holders where torches should be. It looks like a place untouched for a long, long time, left to die beneath the city above. Roll me a perception check, everyone. Yeah, just a little Why question. Am I it rolling so shit? It, does the uh, dark vision still count here or not? Yeah, you disadvantage if you don't have dark vision. Actually, no, because Kana, do you still have your 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 lantern yeah, with be, you? Like it'll yeah, I'll probably. So yeah, you're fine. Just a straight, just a straight yeah. roll is fine. I have a nineteen. Nineteen. <sighs> Eight. Okay. Ooh. Nice, Jill. Kick. Okay, um, Bloom and Kirora, and you Kirora. will notice that the dust along the floor has been disturbed recently. Everything has a thick layer of dust. At least three sets of footprints make soft impressions in the dust. Lines shooting out where the dust has shifted and rolled. There is no sound other than the dripping of water and the faint echo of any noise your party makes. It's only one place to go through the tunnel that gently declines. So the tunnel is still slanting, but gently enough to walk on now. Like you need the cart to get here, but now you can walk, but you're still descending deeper into the cold. The tunnel seems like it goes on forever. There are no lights, no tunnels that break off, no crumbling rocks to dodge. Um, I will say it's wider than the other ones. So I'm not gonna make you be limited to two by two, but what is the marching order? It can be single file, it could be two by two, it could be like, Three of you, and do like however you guys want to play it. Well, I still I'll have the lantern, so I'll probably still be out front, lighting the way ahead. Yeah. I'll be right behind, just so I can mm -hmm. see things. Okay, so yeah, because you need the light. So yeah. Bloom and Kirora, maybe I'll be together behind mm -hmm. Kana. Mm -hmm. Um, Elmanar and Corpse Grinder, where you at? I'd be front as well. Okay. I'll be closing ranks together with Squeal. Okay. Squeal. <laughs> okay. Um, you walk for a while. It feels like forever, but it couldn't have been more than 10 minutes. But after about a 10 minute walk, um, a sound, you can faintly hear a sound ahead. And by you, I mean specifically, um, Kana, Bloom, Corpse Grinder, everyone but Elmanar hears a faint sound oh. ahead. Um, and it sounds like footsteps, but they're not yours. They're not in time with the footsteps of your party. And they feel kind of heavy or they sound heavy. And then he realized it's almost like a rhythmic um, element to it. Like someone's marching, maybe. But there is still no light. After another minute, two men will appear just within sight range. Mm -hmm. At first glance, they look like ordinary city men dressed in rather plain clothes. But there's something about the way they carry themselves that doesn't support the initial visual. They hold themselves strong, the swords at their belts perfectly polished and well kept, and their boots look very new, very uniform. Uh... Have they seen us? Not yet. Because I have the. Oh, no, you're still far enough away. I'll say. It's up to you. If you see them, do you just extinguish or put away the lantern, or do you keep it out? I'm considering it, but then again, then me and Bloom are gonna be fucking blind. <laughs> How um, far away are they, roughly? Um, right now, for them to not see the lantern, have to be pretty far. I have no idea if this is far, but I'm I'm gonna say they're like fifty feet away for now hmm. and i just in case i mean uh, yeah they have their well. own they have their own light source so that's why you can see them oh, they have they have case, lanterns snuff, at their yes. snuff out the lantern because if they have okay, lights yeah. on so them, they have they have, they have they have lanterns like 
put on the ground where they're like marching. Because now you see that the marching, they're just kind of pacing. They're doing like around back if, and forth. Uh, yeah, if they have lights with them so that I can still see them, I'll, I'll, I'll snuff out my lights. Yep. Then yeah, they don't see you. Something feels off about this. How do we proceed? Well... Should we try to attack him? No. It's, it's a bit... What clothing were they wearing? Remind me? The, the... They are wearing just like regular civilian clothing, but they have swords at their belts, and they have very nicely polished boots, and the swords look immaculately well kept. And they're marching in a very perfect, like, rhythm. Don't think they're gonna respond friendly to us, so... Can I, just in case, uh, use Divine Sense? Would that, like... If I use it and they, they are, like, Celestial Fiend or Undead, would that show me that they are? Or would it just... Because it, it says... Uh, no location of any Celestial Fiend or uh, Undead within 60 feet. This is not behind total cover, but... Does it also, like, confirm that they are that kind of creature, or...? Yep, it would tell you if they're one of those in the category. Okay, yeah. Then I would use my uh, Divine Sense. Mm -hmm. Alright, mm -hmm. uh, you sense nothing coming from them. And they, 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 they do not... They uh, Not as in nothing, like, oh, there doesn't, like, it doesn't pick up any of those types gotcha. of creatures. Nothing yeah. pings. Um... Well, it looks like they are not Celestial Fiend or Undead, at least. Well, I could try and sneak up and see if I can overhear them talking about something. Yeah, that or might work. That's potentially not I could do, really. have my voice appear in the back of their heads and just tell them to fuck off and see what happens. Could be interesting. I also guess hmm. scaring them is always a good option. We'll see if I can I'll get close and, and, if... and overhear something first, and if you're okay with it, see what happens if they, uh, I tell them to it's off in their heads. And for me? And I'll good. stealthily try and get close enough so that I can be within earshot. Alright, roll me a stealth check. Can I, before he walks away, can I cast guidance on, on the... Yeah. Him, she, walk, she walks away. Okay. Go for it. It's an extra D4, right? Um, let me double check. I think. It I is. believe it's a D4 yeah. to yeah, a skill a check. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's say 17. I'm gonna just fuck it. Use the guidance as well. 19. Why not? Yeah, they rolled a natural one. They have no idea you're there. Okay. <laughs> are, are they talking at all? Uh, yep. Ooh. Um, you just hear one of them go. I wonder how long is this gonna take? We're fucking missing the whole festival, and they're just kind of bitching about being being down here and they're talking about the parts of the festival they were looking forward to and like nothing uh, that super sends out other than just being disgruntled and impatient i will is they're within 30 feet of me yes yep i can see you got them. close enough to hear that yeah i'll say you're hiding behind like a stalag stalag might no still like tight coming out of the ground those are the ones in the ground no the tights hang so it might stand it's up. hang I yeah. thought because yeah, exactly. I was like still like no, might I... like it might fall and no. still like tight. Like, like, Dutch oh. way of in, in Dutch it helps. Yeah. Damn. And Tita okay. is boobs, therefore Tita hang. And that's how we remember <laughs> yeah, which one's which. Exactly. All right, all right. Still, still like might then. Um, okay. Still like might. You're hiding behind. <laughs> it's like it's really it's like... Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> this works better in Dutch because it's the literal like words, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, right. Learning. I will use my mind link mm -hmm. um, and just, can I like alter my voice at all when doing that? Or is it just, they hear my voice and that's it. <laughs> I can just speak telepathically to them. So I'm going to assume that, um, yeah. Okay. Um, your services are no longer required. Leave. Just in the back of their heads. You said the word. Oh, what? Whoa! What was that? Did you did you hear that? And they're like, yeah. Did you hear that? And they're they look very disappointed. They're like, sir, sir, was that? Is that you? Why 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 aren't you talking n normal? Where where are you? And they're looking around. 
I'll look back at my boys. Move back a bit so that I'm within 30 feet of my allies. And I'll just look at... Who was at the front with me? Was it... Um, Almanar. Almanar. Look at Almanar. And then Bloom, Bloom and Kirora were like five, right behind yeah, you. Yeah. I'll yeah. look at Almanar and, and telepathically tell him... They're not moving, but they're distracted. All we right. should probably make our move. Yeah, I will, uh... Fuck him yeah, up. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll move in and, uh... And, and attack with my rapier. Or you're trying to just, like, get up behind him and just... Yeah. I'll... Oh, yeah, dude. Okay, okay. But I told Elmenar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I'll, and there's I'll, two of I'll them. I'll try and, like, with Elmenar to, like, kind of stealthily... Okay. I take one, you take the other kind of thing and try and just yep. fucking chill. So, the both boss. of you roll an attack with advantage. Dutch, you would get your sneak attack for this because you literally... They're distracted because they're looking around for the source of the voice and you're coming in the darkness because you extinguished your lantern. Uh, 18 to hit. All right. So you hit your guard for sure. 17. You Okay, you both hit roll for an attack. Damage. Wait, roll for an attack? Or, yeah, no, roll damage, right? Unless yeah. you're unless you're hitting them non-lethal, like you just want to knock them unconscious, Hell it's up no. to you. I'm mad oh, okay. because of those <laughs> fucking dogs still. That's, uh, yeah, seven. by the way, G-Bell, at any point you can say you want to make an attack non-lethal and just go to, like, like to knock them unconscious or something if you choose to. That is a thing you can do in D&D. &D. Uh, I'll just sit this one out and just watch what happens. <laughs> no, I, I just mean in general for future going forward because a lot of times, <laughs> like, newbie players don't know that's an option that you can do that. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Um, 12 points of piercing damage. Thanks. 12 that points? You you just... Yours dead. You, you you find a vital organ or something. You you just write... You How... how how do you want to do it, actually? How do you want to stab uh, well, him? Well, I'll be right behind one of them. Mm -hmm. And I will just take my rapier and just, like, back of the neck through the throat. Just All right. Just well, good thing you went for neck, because after you do that and he sinks, you feel when you grab him, they were wearing a hidden chain mail under their shirt. Oh. So good thing you went for the neck. And how much damage did you do, Elmenar? Seven. All right, yours is not dead. You... You go for the stab, you you hit the chain shirt, so you still get make it through, you do damage, but because of the chain, the resistance from it, you don't get far enough to kill him in one blow. And he fuck. just lets out a cry of just, ah! Oh, and then turns around, what the fuck? Roll initiative, everybody. Oh, fucking chill, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, cl so close to greatness, Natty, so close to greatness. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm I just amazing at fucking... <laughs> Being fast. At least I can hit these guys, you know? Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 25 to 20. Oh, okay. Um, 15 to 20. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> um, uh, 10 to 15. 13. 11. Okay, we have a 13 and an 11. Anyone else? No? Okay. Um... Five to ten. I get a nine. Oh my god, Opsy. Jesus. And, and so G, G Mel with the nine. So uh, Kivora. I rolled um, one higher than last time. So you got three. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, also got, I, I also got three. Which oh, one nice. of you is the higher dex? <laughs> my well, dex is mine is one. So my, my dex is plus one. Oh, the old lady, more spry old than lady. you. Oh, okay. My god. <laughs> <laughs> my old, but still very soup on the lips. All right. Um, the guard to go first. No surprise oh, there. What? These rules. The and he just got stabbed. So he's going to turn around and just try and stab his attacker. Um, duh. Wow. That's shit. Seven to hit. Yeah, that misses. Yeah, so he's he's still... Because the sword's still kind of in him. As he turns, he manages to get your blade out. But it hurts so much and he's, he kind of did himself like damage. He, he just, ugh, Like it's a bit of a weak swing because he's still reeling from the impact. So he just goes wide. Um, Kana... You're up. I'll. I'd like to imagine that, like, my rapier is still planted in dude's the neck other and dude throat. Neck. Yep. So I'm just gonna, from like my boot, pull out a dagger and just shut the fuck up and just try and. <laughs> All right. Roll for attack. Stab him. Uh, no, no advantage this time. No. Technically, I still get sneak attack oh. though because homie is with me, so it's with... fine. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, uh, that is a little twelve to hit. That misses because of the chain shirt. AC of 14. 
Let's so see, you, 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 the, your dagger, you do hit, but again, it glances off the the hidden metal underneath the fabric of the loose shirt he's wearing. Um, Elmenar, you are next. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, take another jab with my rapier. rapier. All right, roll for attack. Oh, yeah, that misses. Okay, Fuck. you also, he, he, he unexpectedly kind of like has a, a bit of a stumble and ends up inadvertently moving out of the way of your attack. Because again, he has a gaping ass wound in his back <laughs> right now and he's hurting. He's hurting gaping real bad. Ass wound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. No, all good. Yep. Uh, Kirora, you're next. Um, I'll, I'll go for Firebolt again. I know it's pretty. It's a cantrip. So it's it's, it's a bread and butter cantrip. It's very well used for a reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's so go roll, for that one. Roll uh, me hit an DC. attack. Mm -hmm. So hit DC. That's 15 plus 5. Jesus. And then the damage. I don't know how I get yep, these roll rolls. damage because you hit with that for sure. Uh, 8 damage. Okay, he's dead. Again, the firebolt for the kill two, twice in a row now. You just... Damn. Your, your, nice. your, your party members got the drop on him, and then as he's, like, staggering, you just take the chance to finish it off. Whoosh, the firebolt right to his face. He's no longer recognizable. His, his mother would not be able to recognize him now. His face melted. And that's Wasted. it. That's <laughs> it. There was just the two guards. Um, so, Yeah. I'll look at Elmenar and, and I'll just And the tunnel say, ahead of them. The tunnel continues. Uh, shouldn't we search the guards first to see what they have on them? Sure. I roll. hear searching and my I'm immediately digging through pockets. Yeah, so roll whoever the two that are searching. We'll let Kana because Kana's right there and a rogue, and that's that's their thing. I will stand um, behind Kana and give another guidance. So, who, so was it was it Kirora that suggested the search? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, then you can go ahead and roll investigation as well. That's in your your long skills menu. Okay. Uh, I got uh, guidance. Yep. Nice. There's something cool, I cool. can do. I feel like I'm not completely useless. Two plus three is five. Five. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Um. Uh, Kirora, on your guard, you find two silver pieces. And you find just a flyer for the festival listing some of the um, attractions this year and some of the features. Uh, you rolled what again? Dash? 18. 18? Uh, you find two gold pieces Ooh. on your guard. You find the same flyer. Um, and then you find um, a crumpled up note um, that describes the two people who are missing and what they were wearing and their appearance. So describes your party member Van, and describes um, Theum, I think was I've already forgotten the <laughs> name of the boy. Um, Forgettable NPC number three. Yeah, it's either Theum <laughs> or Theelm. It's something like that. Theum, yeah, it's Theum. Um, so I'll, yeah, you um... find descriptions of the two missing people and uh, in, in a crumpled up paper that says party. destroy after reading and the guard mm -hmm. fucked up. I'll look at the party and I'll tell him about the notes and I'll also say, um, when I did the voice in the head thingy, they were calling out to their leader, uh, their boss. So it seems that whoever their boss is, is the one organizing these kidnappings. So we're on the right track. That nose of yours is not let us down. That's interesting. It's also weird that they have specific descriptions of people. Yeah. Not so sure what that's about. Um, yeah. Why these two? Why? Why? I'm sure, we'll find out. We um, we haven't been in this sort of location, festival town ish, whatever, for too long, right? You've been there for like a day. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe they, they have some secrets they didn't tell us yet. Maybe they scouted. Um. Looking for targets throughout the last few days, and maybe they took one of the last pastries and got kidnapped for that one. This is a long shot, right? <laughs> but given my history as a spy, mm -hmm. would I kind of, you know, as a spy, kind of ace places and keep an eye mm -hmm. on things? Would I recognize this as to be? Oh, yeah, they probably just like cased the town and looked for targets or is that too much of a stretch for me to really understand sorry re repeat what's your 
trying to do for a second? I'm trying to determine whether or not this is like um, basically premeditated, basically. Yeah, like in advance. They, like, does it seem to me that they like probably cased the t with my knowledge of like secrety spying that sort of thing? Would it appear to me that this is kind of like a they 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 probably kept an eye on people in the town for a few days before they decided they were um, targets or something? Or do I have no idea? I'll say roll. Roll an insight check with disadvantage based on some of the text and the note in the description trying to read into their intentions. Plus 17 and an 18, plus 4. Don't know so if that's the best thing. 21. Okay. Um, you notice in the descriptions um, on your party member, there's also a just arrived today. And then under Theum, there's um, it like introvert, few friends won't be noticed text so because it just arrived today that tells you this note was written today they only picked their targets today and the won't be noticed or won't be missed whatever it was i just said because my brain sucks um so you, you also get a gist of what type of people they were trying to pick so the sense of yeah. your party member van was taken because he's not a member of the town so who's gonna remember yeah, people with and the um, not popular people uh, the won't initially be noticed when they're gone. No. When they're gone. So yeah, I'll relay that to the group. I'll, I'll say like, yeah, it seems that they were casing the town looking for people that wouldn't cause too much of a a panic if they went missing. People with very little friends, people that don't really go outside, people that just have the least possible amount of eyes looking looking at them when for when they go missing. Hmm, that's interesting. Alright. Well, well, um. I guess we should uh, continue then. I guess so. Um. Yeah, because the tunnel just continues ahead of them. But it does look like it starts to open up or widen further ahead. Any, any lights ahead? You can take their lanterns, but there are no lights ahead. Yeah, I'll take one of their lanterns then. Yep. Okay. I've also, I've also grabbed one. Okay. So eventually, the tunnel begins to open up, and what is ahead is hardly believable to be underneath the city. This massive cavern looks ancient, untouched by the men who mined here. The ceiling stretches high above, and the floor continues about 20 feet out before just dropping off like blackness, like gaping abyss um, to nowhere. Near the edge of the platform where the, the abyss starts, are three figures. Two are sitting, huddled together on the floor, um, also like hands tied and gagged. And a third tall figure standing to the side of them, looking out over that void. The figure doesn't move, but tilts their head a little in acknowledgement of the party's appearance. The other two huddled together are without a doubt your missing party member, Van Helm, and the teenage boy, Theum. Um, Kirora, roll me a history check, please. Okay. And Bloom. Bloom also rolled me a history check. Three plus five, eight. You're old. Eight? I'm very old. Um, hold up. Well, history check, you said, right? Yes. What was it? Plus zero. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> still not, still 19. Oh. Okay, so Bloom, you recognize the the person standing there because you've been here before, as you mentioned to the, the potion vendor earlier. You know, this is... Um, one of the, if not the head, like he's a member of the city council. And even though there's no official head of the council, he is widely considered as the head of the council in, in unofficialness. His name is Peric Oakfall. He is a tall elven man fitting every description of wealth, if not for the dust on his boots because of where you are. He is tall and strong wearing black pants and a royal blue shirt with silver threading. His cloak br brushes the ground with its length deep shimmering purple. There are lines around his eyes, but not from laughter. Blonde hair is braided and pulled back, though a few strands have fallen loose, and there is a smear of dust across his face. Um, so he does that that nod. He turns to, to meet you and goes, Damn, I was hoping not to be interrupted. Is he alone? He other alone? than the two, he's alone. Other than the two tied, bound figures. Anybody know this clown? Well, 
seen him before. I think he's like the head of the head, head of the council, the city council. So my reputation precedes me, it seems. Well, and he does like a nod of the head to Bloom. It's only one out of five, all right? Hold your horses, calm down. Going to bed. Well, and we are still in your city, so. Uh, are we? Would this be city limits, technically? Yeah, it's in their minds. Like they, it's mm. in the mines owned mm. by, owned and worked by the city. The other thing you notice, by the way, as you um, start to like look at this abyss he's standing in front of, on the edge of the abyss, other than like the platform he's standing is free of this, but then starting there and around it, circling it, piles of bones, but not haphazard, not like left there by him, like neatly stacked in weird, creepy piles with the skulls all sitting nicely on top, all facing you. And each one is a human skull. I'll look at... Mr. And there's Elf. too many to count. You can't tell, because the ones in the back, it's so dark, you can't see. All you know is this whole abyss is ringed with them. I'll look at Mr. Elf, look at the rest of the group. Look back. Isn't this where we typically get like this, this bad guy monologue? <laughs> well, no. yes, but I figured why waste my breath if you're not interested in if the he tries, being here. I'm just gonna hit my drum. It's gonna be funny. <laughs> Watch him try and talk. Maybe you should uh, start the story with the drums at the same time. So like every word yeah. and every beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was <laughs> I do area. assure you there Bam. is a I do Bam. assure you there is a reason Bam. for being here. Bam. And I know how this looks. And he just talks over your drumming while looking at every, every time you hitting. drum louder and louder. Just... Every time you drum, there's a bit of a like that he's trying not to, but like the flinch of irritation of, <laughs> and like an or an eye twitch, there's a something every time. But he talks keep through it. Hitting he faster goes, and okay. faster. And I just and keep hitting. Da, 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 yeah. da, 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 da. <laughs> So while you're doing this, he says, I know how this looks, believe me. And I take no joy in being in this position. Mm. But if you care about our city, if you care about the greater good, you will turn around and forget what you saw here right now. Inside check. Same. All right. Absolutely same. No one hears what's going on. I'm <laughs> smacking. Natural, <laughs> natural 20. You believe he he is very much believes what he says. He feels strongly that he is doing what he has to do and what he's and what is right. Keep talking. Um, yeah. well, this and he gestures at the abyss has been here far before we ever set foot on this land or dug these mines. When we began mining, we found the immense amount of gems and metals in the land here. We became greedy, but I mean, we were a small town. We were just making our place on the map and we saw a chance to become something bigger, to be a place that actually drew power, wealth, intellectuals, adventurers such as yourselves, a place that people wanted to visit and a place where everyone could prosper. So we took everything we could. We mined deeper and deeper until we had stripped the earth of all of it. And we took a little too much. We awakened another glance behind him quickly at the abyss. Something. I wish I knew what. It started after one of our miners had a misstep and fell in. The next day we could feel a presence and our colleagues' bones were neatly piled on the edge of the abyss and points to the nearest pile, off to his left. We tried animals because we got the sense this thing wanted blood. And we, we tried to hold off, and there was just collapse after collapse, mine shafts collapsing, accidents, earthquakes. It just seemed like nothing could go right in this mine. So we tried some animals. He looks, it looks at your pig. But it didn't want them. It wanted people. Two or three sent down into that abyss. Not at huge intervals, not every day. It seemed to be sated once a year. We don't know what it does with them. Maybe it eats them. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it simply watches them waste away down there with it, taking from us like we took from it. We believe it won't be satisfied until the debt is paid. Of course, we don't know how much that debt is. We don't know how much blood this thing needs. We do know that we can wait a year between feedings, as horrible as that is to say. So, let me get this straight, right? Instead of Doing your research, trying to learn. We did the research. Ask your friend. And points to Kirora. Where? What do you think happened to your dear Professor Rathbone? 
I think he's piled up somewhere over here, thanks to you, probably. I'm trying to confront him somehow. We consulted experts. We, we even halted all mining operations once the calamities and the accidents and the cave-ins started happening. But it just kept getting worse. Eventually, the tremor started shaking the town. And we just, we have to protect. There is, think how many lives are above your heads. Think how many feet are on the earth above your heads at this minute. How many people do you feed it typically? Two or three, like I said. Just what it needs, no more. We take no pleasure in it. Why were you looking for these two? Because you have, you, you, one of your friends might have gotten one of the their pictures or their descriptions. Well, I mean, we can't just make this... We can't go about and post this on the town message board, shall we? Look for volunteers? Who do you think's gonna do that? We And we can't have, have, have the... Have you tried it? We can't <laughs> have the hysteria... Right. The hysteria, the panic that would happen if we told everyone what might oh, be underneath the city. the panic that would happen if the town moved away and didn't have to fall victim to this thing. Oh, yes. Deary me. Try it fighting it. I mean, some braver fools than yourself went down in the abyss. They're there, there, and there. Points to some farther piles of bones. Oh, Foolish I want to push this guy down, braver. dude. Holy fuck. Okay, I'm really trying to fucking... <laughs> hey, can I try to do, like, um, uh, dancing lights to, like, illuminate, like, in front of town? Or, or, or like, down to see what's what's up there? Sure. Or... Go for it. So It's you under 20 lights. feet, so... You send the globes in, and again, the further you go, do you get close enough to the edge of the abyss to see? Because you're still, you're about like 25 feet from Peric as he's speaking right now. You're not up there on the platform with him. Mm -hmm. All right, so you approach. Uh, we can go. Yeah, we approach. Yeah. If okay, I and see, to see. If I see Kurora approaching the ledge, I'm prodding <laughs> the elf with my rapier in his, like, in his chest, and yep. just like, don't even think about it. He, he holds his hands up and it looks very, he's like, wouldn't dream of it. And as you look down, you see the dancing lights you sent. They just go they deeper, deeper, deeper. They're getting smaller. They're getting smaller. Minutes pass. Eventually you do not. They, they either fizzle out or they go so dark that their light doesn't reach your eyes. You don't know which, but you saw nothing. Gaping abyss. And now, Bloom, roll me... What did I write? I wrote this down earlier. Hold up. Um, roll me a religion or history check. Your choice. Oh, they're both plus zero. Oh, um, Elmanar, you can also roll a religion check. Paladin. A 17. Oh. Oh. So you roll a 17, Elmanar? Yeah. First religion. But that's a six. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> All right, something about this Elmanar feels familiar. Like the the way the bones are piled, the imagery, and just the general the feeling you get right now in your just like in your body, in your in your soul, for lack of a better word. This feels familiar, and this feels like you should, like you know some you know you know something about what's going on here, but you can't place what it is. Bloom, um, the bones and the way they are piled very much brings the name of an entity to your head. Um, it, I'm going to DM you. And the reason why it brings that name to your head is from your time with the sisters and brothers of the Ruby Rose. They would have known about this entity and spoke of it. So I'm just going to DM you what it is. Um, while this is all going on, I'll kind of look at dude. Why not just evacuate? Take your riches. And rebuild somewhere. Why sacrifice citizens? Well, I mean, at first we just used criminals, rule breakers who had done heinous deeds to, I know you, who are we to judge if they've really earned this fate, but the closest thing they could. And again, it, it just comes back to, to greed. I hate to admit, we figured we could just get a little bit more before getting out, but then we also realized that might be too late. We've we've awoken something, something that needs to be fed. And if when it's not fed, even if we all left this land, I don't know what's gonna happen. Can it leave? If it can it can it be freed? Is this a trap? Does it enjoy being down? We don't know. 
all of our efforts of research have brought up nothing. We still have feelers out. We have those that are more learned than us working on this, but we've heard nothing. Have you seen it? No. We just feel it. You, 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 I'm sure you can feel it right now. And you all feel, just again, a very, very strong sense of foreboding, but also a sense of hunger. And there's almost a faint, like, coppery, metallic taste at the very back of your mouth. I'll look at the group and I'll be like, can't just let this keep happening, right? Um, I tried to talk to the person, and I'm going to ask them, okay, how long are you going to keep this up? I mean, the town is not that extremely big. How many people are you going to keep feeding like this? Either until it feels sated, like who knows how long it slumbered here. Perhaps it can slumber once again, you know, like a bear in hibernation, like entities that just want sacrifice or tribute. You hit the right amount, it goes away. Or indefinitely again name of name of greater good we we don't know what happens if it doesn't have its price paid even if no one's here what if it can leave what if it leaves and and is freed is there a safe way down there none that we have been able to come up with okay i'll look around how deep does the drop scene like how far how far down until i see surface you don't you don't it is unending unending blackness so and then as you look again parrot goes once again i i give you a choice friends if i may call you that spit on the floor when you, you go can, friend yep you can leave and tell no one what you saw you can if you if you ref, if you refuse, I I, just, I will have to I will have to, to stop you. These these two are going in. There is no way around that. I to protect the lives of those above us. Even maybe after today, sure we evacuate. For now, it's too late. We are rapidly approaching the time where this thing is about to wake up and feed again. My radio is still like. Like, I still have this man at, the, at the, like, the, the sharp end of my rapier. Yep. And I will look at any of my party members. Can I step forward real quick? Mm -hmm. Wait, guys, can I suggest something? We still have two bodies on the floor that we could use. Oh, we tried That's that. True. We tried that. It, it, Sorry. it wants them, it wants them alive. As oh. horrible as that is. Smart, though. Smart. I will just step forward, mm -hmm. looking around the room, and just saying... This seems familiar in the whole setup. I've seen this before. I've, I know what this is. Well, at, least what the, what, at least what the bones are doing. And back when I was a little girl, I made an oath to try and protect the world against evil forces. So I'm not going to let you do what you want to do. I suggest... Destroy everything! <laughs> Some of you untie and ungag them and want to be on their merry way while we keep Mr. Brick here for a little extended chat. And if. As you say that, killed. as you say that, he just goes, oh, What a shame. And you all of a sudden see the image before you flickers. The image of Peric. Just for a second. But it, it flickers. The image of what? Of Peric, the, the, the man, the elf you are okay, speaking yeah, to. Yeah, sure, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. The image flickers. Hey, Do I, I feel yeah. and then, when I like prod him with my... Ribbon? Yep. As you prod him, it goes through. Can it I design an this? It is an illusory double. Roll initiative. Ooh. Oh boy. Yo! One higher every <laughs> time. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm going down this time. I'm going to roll one, so that's Yo, two. me too, Natty! Let's go! Hey! <laughs> Please don't tell me that, that Cleric is going first again. <laughs> God. I well, I won't plus... tell you. I have one plus two, which is three. <laughs> it's three oh, net it's ones? three net ones. Oh, oh my no. God. Oh, oh, no. Yeah. Okay, well, 25 to 20? <laughs> 
Is four higher than 20? <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, 15 to 20? 16. Okay, there you okay, go. Bloom, Bloom again is... coming in clutch. Okay, um, 10 to 15. <clears throat> oh dear. 5 to 10. Oh my god! <laughs> 1 to 5, what y'all get? Four. Four. With a natural one. Let's go. Four, four, a three. Elmenar, what are Ew. you? Um, okay. Oh of, of the two fours, who has the higher dexterity? I mean, my four was a natural one. Probably. Optis wasn't, I don't think. So I'll say Optis goes no, first. No, that's right? true. But my initiative is zero. So um, mine is plus three. Kirora has a dex of 14. What's yours, yeah. Opti? Wait, I have my dex? Three. Mine is yeah. four. Yeah, Kirora has a three. Kirora has a three. I have four. No, I'm looking at, I said 14. I'm looking at the actual no, 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 stat. No, but, the but, but, yeah. But, uh, I'm the Kirora one that rolled a three. four. Uh, oh, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Kirora rolled a three. My bad. Who are the two fours? Me and Opti, but mine was a natural okay. one. Opti's wasn't. So I'd say, therefore, Opti can go first. Okay, okay. So. Sure. Doesn't Fort matter. Grinder, uh, Kana. And then we have Elmenar. You guys really rolled three ones. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah three that's, that's fucking, fucking ones. I've had this happen Holy. once okay. when, I, when I was DMing when uh, people were trying to roll for stealth. And, and three of them rolled <laughs> a natural one. <laughs> So didn't okay. get very stealthy. Um, so we have we had Kana was right up there. Were all of you up there? Or did anyone hold back? Or were all of you like I mean, right I up? I had on my form? thing prodding yeah. this fake version of. Yeah. yeah. And, so were any I of you holding? Forward. Back? Yeah. I stepped forward to say something, so I'm halfway, I think. Okay, so we'll say Bloom Shit. is like over here. Kana's right up there. Is everyone else? Are you with Bloom, or are you right up there on the? Or are you further back? Because the Bloom I mean, stepped I, forward, Bloom in the middle. For back. I, yeah. Just okay. behind Bloom, I guess. I, I okay. same ish. Okay. Just for my so, my notes, um, Dutch, how much health do you have? You are full health, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright. First up is Bloom. <laughs> Yo! Oh, what a surprise. Again! Let's go, dude. <laughs> and I don't see anything, right? I just saw the guy flickering a little bit. Yep. If you have no idea where the real one is. Oh, you motherfucker. Um, <laughs> I will hold my action until <laughs> until, until something shows up. So, okay. If I can, if I can be that vague. That's fine. Um, okay. Maybe just specify it a little bit more. You say something like something comes out of the abyss until Peric shows himself for real. Like what? What are we? Um. Maybe, like, can I can can I like like do two things or just has to be one thing? Because if, if I could a, do like if it comes out of the abyss or if like the skeletons start to move. Oh. Um. What you could do is you could word it as like a, until something hostile movement enters from an enemy, yeah, range or something, we'll something say, hostile appears. Okay. Then... okay, there you go. Yeah, until something okay. hostile. That works. All right. Well, he's next because y'all rolled. Yeah, I mean, hey, you know, we out here, bro. Let's go. Yeah. Um. He is this one. Let's let me check which ones are concentration and which aren't. I have most of his spells pulled up. God fucking damn it. Okay. Um, everything I want to do at the same time is fucking concentration. And ah, it's a yikes. You got fucked. Yeah. Um, that's why they're concentration. I know he's called Peric, but I'm, he's, he's called Prick, dude. I, I'm, that's it. That's fine. That's, yeah, you call him whatever you want. Uh, is this concentration too? This is not. No, it is. God, fuck. Why is all? Why are all your spells concentration? Oh. Let's go. Ah. Okay. Um. That one's not. Okay. Okay. Oh God. Okay. He is going to. Uh. Let me just check the spell. Oh boy. Uh, Kirora. Mm-hmm. Um, I need you. Nope, he rolls to hit. That's what happens. Okay. <laughs> um, yo, that that hits. Does does a twenty five hit your level three character? Uh, no. to know by the way your your armor class where it says armor class on your sheet, it's next to the defenses. It's in the little shield icon. Twelve. Yeah. So anything a twelve or above will hit your character. So twenty five absolutely hits. You just feel. Like an icy hand, like reach around your neck, um, as he casts Chill Touch, 
which he can do anywhere within 120 feet, and you don't know where it's coming from. But you feel like a ghostly skeletal hand on the back of your neck. Um, and you take five points of necrotic damage, and you cannot regain hit points until the start of your next turn. It's fucked up. <clears throat> until then, the hand clings to you. So if anyone looks at you, you have a ghostly skeletal hand just holding on to the back of your neck right now. Okay, so I got five damage, right? Yep, five points of damage. So you do the five and hit the damage button on your yeah. D&D Beyond. There we go. Um, and that is his turn, because I really don't think any of these spells are a fucking bonus action. Hmm, let's hope not. <laughs> nah. All right. Um, and as he does so, I guess a bonus action, his um, his double speaks the um, speaks to you again. At any point, you can turn around. You can walk away. I will. I will forget I saw you. You forget you saw me, and that's his turn. And oh, you still day. do not know at the moment where he is. Actually, wait. <laughs> Does that? Uh, does the spell drop you switch while you are using Burber Beer? So if a spell's concentration and then you use a cantrip, the concentration spell would drop? No. Correct? No, only if no? you... Okay. Concentration spells. We're fine then, because that's why I used a cantrip and I thought I was right, but just checking. Okay, cool. Depends uh, on uh. if you use another concentration spell. Yeah, if I, kn I knew that much, but, but then yeah. that's why I was checking, but also if it's no, because you just used a cantrip. So you're Anything fine. that isn't concentration, you can just cast without yeah. it's uh, dropping the effect of the concentration spell. Cool. Oh, oh, I need to tell you who's next, don't I? My bad. Next mm -hmm. is Corpse Grinder. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my man. <laughs> Me? Hi. Um, fuck. I, I don't see the darn You can thing. choose to do a perception check as your action to try and see yeah. if you can get a hint to where he is. Yeah. I guess <laughs> I'll do that. I'll, I'll move forward to wherever I can and just look around like, where are you at? Where are you at? Roll me a perception check. <laughs> Yo, dirty 20. Yo, okay. My you um, feel um, where or where the, between where the voice was coming from, because like his double's lips moved. But you realize, because you have with your bardic, your your ear training and your pitch is like, mm. you know, on point. You're like, wait a minute, that sound didn't come from there. And you feel like that sound came like a bit behind you and to your, your left, the west, like a ways off. Behind us. So if you did like a 90 degree turn yeah, and then a bit behind you, that's where you think he is. And there's not like there's a huge curtain hanging there with a small man behind it. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, I, I relay the info to my friends. So like behind us as in the tunnel that we came from or like off to the side a bit? Like the way I've drawn it, my little mini map here, if it's like, here's the edge of the abyss and there was illusory him and Kana, you're, mm -hmm. you're on the platform on the edge. And then I have Bloom, uh, Corpse Grinder and Elmenar kind of like a bit back in a straight line and then Kirora furthest back. Mm -hmm. And you heard it kind of like over here, like coming in between where the group and Kirora is off to that left side. So not like in the tunnel that we came from. He's more no. like to the side. He, okay. Yeah, he's still in this kind of area, but okay, he's okay. away from the platform. Good to know, because that, that, that impacts what I'm going to do. Yep. You you and you don't know roughly. You just know he's he's a, he's he's not far, but he's not he's not. You don't feel like he's right close to any of you, but you don't know how far away he is, or corpse grinder does. And I'll let you use your bonus action to just shout that out to the group real quick. I do, I do, I do. All right, uh, Kana, you're next. Knowing that fuckhead is like where he is, I'm going to approach. Um, the teenager, I forget his name. Th 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 the something. The M, yeah. T H I E M. Uh, I'm gonna cut his bind. Is it bindings as in like rope or is it like chains? Uh, just a rope and then a gag. It's nothing I'm too take complicated. Take a dagger out of my boots and cut his bindings. I'm gonna tell him run to the path that we came from. Eventually, you'll get to a minecart and a bunch of things that goes up. Just just wait for us there. 
and that is my turn. I'm just gonna cut the, the teenager loose and give him instructions as to where that like mining cart thingy is okay. that we came down uh, with. And so as, just gonna tell him to I'm fucking now run. now that he's free, I'm gonna roll an initiative for him, and he'll I'll like insert him in here. Okay. So you PM. Okay. Um, Kirora, then, if that's well, if you're done, yeah, I then mean, Kirora, yeah. you're next. That's it. Yes, I'm going to use my second level spell called Sea Invisibility. Ooh, Smart, which is, uh, which is pretty. Uh, <laughs> that might do something. That might do yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> I might see yeah. him. I don't have All to right. do any or to roll anything for it. Nope, you just, you just make sure you check off one of your second level spell slots. Oh. And yeah, you look around, and he is almost. Directly, like if you took a 90 degree turn to your left, about 20, 25 feet, there he is. He's just standing there because he's invisible. He wasn't like hiding behind something. And the minute you lock eyes with him, he gets a, oh shit, look mm -hmm. on his face. Because he's hey, like, baby. oh, he's he he seen that, me. Does that mean that you see him like just you? Or does yeah, it feel just, yeah. For us just well? I, I point to where he is. Yeah, just Kirora sees him. It's a self okay. spell. But Kirora can now telegraph his whereabouts to you throughout the fight. <laughs> <Might help. laughs> Does All right. that mean that if that happens that my action activates or not? No, because yours was you see movement or an attack from something hostile. You don't see. Good. You just know now he's there, but Good you still can't see him. Good to know. Like getting a wish from a genie, dude. When you hold your action, you got to be very specific. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, next, Elmenar. So Kirora is just pointed in a direction. <laughs> he says he's there. What do you do? Hmm. <laughs> um, 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 um. Hmm. That's quite. That is a good question. <gasps> Sorry. Um... Would I be able to cut the ropes with my rapier as well, or...? Yeah, yeah. Something? Like, on the, on the second one, who's bound? Yeah. On your party member? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do that then. All right. So you do that, so now I have to roll and put them in the initiative. All right. Okay. Uh, do you have any bonus action or movement you want to do? Uh, hmm. Do I want to do this? Ask yeah, for it. I will use uh, Shield of Faith on me. Okay. So I'll have a plus two bonus to AC. Nice. All right. Uh, so now top initiative, and it's Theum because Theum rolled real well, nice. and y'all rolled shit. So Theum just dashes. He's just trying to get the fuck out of here. Um. Average movement speed for humans, what, 30? So a dash should be 60. Yeah. All right, we're going to say he is almost out. Like, next turn, he, he, he'll he be out of sight, and he'll be on his way to being out. Um. Yeah. I hope, hope he has some magic to use those minecarts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just told him to wait at the yeah. minecarts, right? To be like, oh, hey, true, true, true. That's what you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fair. Okay. So that's Theum's turn. Bloom, it is your turn. And Kirora's just kind of locking on, gives you a vague idea where he is right now. I just look at that direction and I cast my spiritual weapon. Okay. In that general direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so then you roll for an attack with your spiritual weapon on, on the turn of summoned, I believe. So go for it. And you roll with disadvantage because he's invisible. Even yeah, though you have a vague idea, you still don't know exactly. Fair enough. And it looks like... I think they're called, I'm not sure if this is the, the correct term, but prayer ropes. I'm not sure what the correct term of those are. Like a prayer, mm -hmm. like those like little beads on like a... Yeah, little beads with oh, like a, a little... A, a rosary, a, a right. rosary, so, I think that it's one. called, yeah. So that's kind of, that's kind of how, how it looks. Uh, this is Vintage, you said, right? Yep. Uh, sorry, these dice hurt. I'm not sure why I grabbed them. <laughs> Bad. Bad damage. Okay, crap. I'm gonna grab an extra light because I can see shit. In oh, and Kirora is eligible to be healed again cause for the effects of Chill Touch because it was the end of her next turn. Oh, so, that's just so people know. Um, seventeen. That hits. So your rosary. Describe how your rosary beads like attack. Do they like 
just bop him over the head? Do they, do they like, re rope around him? Like, what do they do? The, the, the little cross symbol st stays up, but the rest of the, of the thing just moves around him. And kind of like a, like a little bit like like a boa constructor, like a, like a snake yeah. would do it, like kind of wrap around him and just yeah. damage that way. All right. Um, so, so roll your damage. Is the eight, eight? There we go. That's six plus four. That's ten damage. Ten, ten points of damage. Nice. Yeah. That's okay. Nice. So you hear, again, just like sharp exhale and some like grunting as he feels like restricted. He upset he. All right. Is that um, trial, this, this taking damage drop of his ability? I think it does, right? Uh, let me... I'm not too sure, but I think it does. Um, it says for the spell he used that is making him making the double, it ends if he attacks or casts a spell. Oh, oh. right. Okay, but it's okay, a okay, okay, okay. Spell, right? Yeah, it's a concentration. Oh, so he has to roll yeah, then okay. just to affect. Yeah. So yeah. you did 10 damage, so I need to roll 10 above a 10. Yeah. To... Yep. Yep. Nitro well, 19. So he is still last. invisible. He's still invisible. Okay. Okay, it's his turn, but he won't be invisible for much longer because now he's he's like, I've been caught. There's no point in this. So he Wait, instead. He, didn't, he, didn't he cast Chill Touch? But that's yeah, but that's not a concentration. Oh. Yeah. Um. Right, okay. All right. So instead, he is going to cast. Let me just check the range on this spell. Because they were about 20 feet up. He dashed 60. So he's about 40 feet. Okay, so he's just too far away from that. But Van is not. So his invisibility, the, the double, the flickering double now is gone. You see him lit up uh, near the rosary, the spiritual glowing rosary. Um, he is going to cast Suggestion on your party member that Elmenar just freed on Van, Van Helm. Um, and he, oh, so Van Helm has to make a wisdom save. God damn. Van Helm rolled a natural 20. So you see him, you see him shout over to Van Helm, being like, quick, it's dangerous. You must jump into the pit, save yourself. And Van Helm just looks at him and goes, are you fucking insane? And just keeps <laughs> like freeing himself from his, his bonds. My man. So it did not work. He tried, <laughs> he tried real hard. Um, I don't think any of his spells are a bonus action, <clears throat> which sucks. Um, or at least any of them are a bonus action that I give a shit about. <laughs> nah. Uh, in that case, he is going to... Ballsy, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, we're fucking doing it. He is gonna run, because where he is, right? Like, for the moment, if you see my oh-so-fancy diagram, right? Yeah. He was over here. This is where he was, and this is, like, the edge of the abyss. He's now gonna run up this way and get to where it's like really skinny. So basically you guys would have to funnel. So like you, he's going to get to where the ledge is so skinny and kick Hot some ass. of the bones away that he only one person would fit in front of him to try and protect himself because he is a caster. He doesn't need to be close to y'all. So yeah. he is now moved his maximum movement and he is like on that ledge pressed against the wall and also just hoping maybe you're afraid of the pit. Maybe you won't walk over there. You don't know. And that is his turn. Um, now it is Van's turn, and Van is going to completely, um, free himself and be like, you guys got this right? And he's gonna dash after Thea. He's, he's leaving you. He's scared. He, he, he was not their best hire. He is not made of the same metal the rest of Ushi. you are. He's a baby. Um, mm -hmm. and he's, he's Why out. Why did we rescue him? <laughs> no Fuck him. All right. Um. Mm -hmm. Next, it is Corpse Grinder's turn. Uh. Cool. <laughs> Good. How far away from me is the man's in direct line? I would say now from you. How much did? What's his movement speed? His speed was. Oh, I, okay, so he's up this way. He's, yeah, he could do three. So he would be probably about 45 feet from you, Corpse Grinder. Good. Um, then I could reach him with some dissonant whispers. Nice. Uh, okay. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. So, yeah, I'm going to make all kinds of very annoying sounds in his head. 
Uh, I can make a wisdom saving throw. He can. A uh, 14? Ooh, that is enough. Hey. Uh, I can frick. On. Does it? Uh, target takes half damage. Okay, so at least some damage. Zoop -a boop. Uh, no, that's still 13 damage. Oh. Psychic damage. How much? 13? One, 13 three? psychic damage. Okay. Got it. Got it. You see him just kind of grab at his head for a bit. And, just, uh, uh, and like shake it off. But he's still... And now he's, he's back to looking. He's focused. But he is still kind of holding his head a bit. From the psychic damage. Oh. <laughs> uh, next, it is Kana's turn. So, so you, he's only about 25 feet from you because you were up at that platform and he's also on the edge of the yeah. abyss. In that case, yeah, I'm going to close the gap. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to bonus action insightful combat or insightful okay. fighting and see if I can get my sneak attack regardless of the fact that I have just, uh, no, don't have advantage. So I need you to and make he has a deception, to roll deception, deception check. Okay. Against my insights. Oh. Hmm? Eighteen. It, oh, excuse me. That is a twenty-one. Motherfucker. Okay, I'm still gonna fucking hit him. Yep. Uh. Sixteen to hit. That hits. Nice. Again, he's a squishy caster, and he hasn't cast mage armor or anything, oh, so... Oh, max damage. Uh-oh. Um, so, 8 plus 3... Yeah, so 11 points of piercing damage. Ouchie! Okay. You said it was, um, it was your rapier? Yeah, my rapier. It was 11 just... points you did. In, right into the gut? Yep. So, he, again, uh, and he kind of, like, hunched over your blade, holding a chest, but, like, still standing. Um, and he just gives you, like, a murderous look now. Um, he's not happy. Uh, Kirora, you're next. Kirora is going to use... I'm hesitating of using a king. I have the feeling I'm using the same spells every time again. <laughs> Let's go for a firebolt again. With that. Hey, it's it safe works. To go it All works. right, it roll, works. roll to hit. So, roll that attack for um, me, baby. It's three plus five, eight. Nope, misses. So, because he's on that skinny ledge, it goes, and you're a bit hesitant because you don't want to hit Kana because Kana's directly mm -hmm. in front of him. So, you've had to like mm -hmm. bend your firebolt, and you're not very good at that. So, you mm -hmm. you just go right by his head. And it Did I hit a skull or something? No. Yeah, you <laughs> like hit a pile of bones. Just... A pile of bones yes! kind of explodes, and some fall into the pit. Hit hundred percent so far. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Does, does something happen when that happens? No, nothing happens okay, when the bones fall in. It very much only wants living things. It spits the bones back out. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else you like to do? Any movement? Any bonus actions? I don't think I can do much more. Nope. No, I, you don't really have any bonus actions. Oh well, you can misty step as a bonus action because of your eligible. That's that like short range teleport. But right now you're not really in a place mm. where he's threatening you, so I don't think you need to. Mm. Plus, I don't have a lot of HP left, so... Mm. Alright. Um, Elmenar, your turn. Okay, I can't really reach him, can I? Since, oh, uh, fuck, I forgot about that. Kind of no, because no, he made it so purposely only one person could right. be melee engaged. Also, okay. the top of your turn, actually, as the bones fell into the pit, we'll say this happens. You good. Elmenar, mm -hmm. you hear a voice in the back of your head. And it sounds very similar to a voice you have heard in dreams and a voice you sought out after feeling betrayed by someone else in your life. And the voice says to you, you have, you have made it. You know what you need to do. Help me. And that's it. Take your turn as you, as you will. Touch his face. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't yes, know shit. Can't does no shit, but uh, I mean, <laughs> look at it. Cool. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> My fin about to get stabbed in the back. 
Hmm. Don't you fucking hmm at me when I say that, Natty. <laughs> <laughs> I've had you as a bad guy on the on, on DS before. Yeah, okay? and he stabbed us in the back, so this is what Natty does. Are you? This is <laughs> 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 That's fucked up. Uh this is great. This is great. No, Dutch, if you do it, obviously not saying this is your character, you do what you want, but if you did, Dutch will know how every single one of uh, us felt that day in Dungeon <laughs> Select. That happens, I'm whipping my dick out on Cam again, it's all banned. <laughs> um, wait. Hmm. So, do you, do you have like a, uh, um, uh, like a, a visual thing of where everyone is right now? Um, that super fancy drawing I made before. Yeah. All it changes now. See, Peric is up here on this ledge and Kana is mm -hmm. right in front of him. So no one else can like melee because to be next to him, you'd have to be in the, in the abyss, which is a no-no. And the yeah. rest of your party, you're all just kind of like, you're here right now. You're the E. For Elmar. Mm -hmm. That's you. Okay. He right. there. <laughs> Natty, you son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 you better fucking not. <laughs> oh man, do I do this? Do I do this? Your character, you know, it depends. Yeah. It depends what you believe of the voice or what you think the voice meant. The voice didn't give you any specific instructions. It gave you We're vague. The pure twins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, fuck it, I think I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I'm gonna go up to Kana and try to shove her into the pit. You son of a bitch! <laughs> so I need you to both to make contested strength checks then, right? That's how it would be. Uh, or trying to like, if you're trying to grapple, I can use He's trying acrobatics. to grab and push you. So yeah, you can use acrobatics or athletics. Natty, oh. you would be using ath athletics because you're trying to just... Yes. <laughs> I will say though, Dutch, you roll with disadvantage because A, you can't, you're not looking behind you. You're looking at Peric. You don't know Elmanar's coming. B, you don't expect your party member to betray you like this. Mm -hmm, so I also true. don't think you'd be preparing for this. Mm -hmm, so disadvantage, mm -hmm, please. Sorry, Dutch. Oh, Ooh, don't you fucking apologize chance. if you don't fucking mean it, pussy. <laughs> at least fucking, you know, don't back down. Fucking commit to this shit, bitch. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I rolled a 12. Oh. Eight. Oh. oh no. And with that, I will say, I will give you also one more chance of Dutch. You can roll now, roll me a dexterity save, but with disadvantage to see if you can grab the ledge before completely falling. So Elmar succeeds in shoving you, but can you grab the edge of the, the abyss? No. <laughs> well, what's your roll? What's your roll? I, you don't know. Oh, damn. I was going to give you any double digit, man, because I didn't want to just outright. Okay. Uh, 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 so you all uh, watch uh, as, with no warning, your party member, as as Kana gets this sick, just like rapier in the gut, and you see Peric kind of double over and give her a look of like panic and anger, you see Elmanar just <laughs> shove, and Kana goes tumbling. I will give all of you one reaction if you think, well, other than Elmanar, if you think there's anything mm. you can do to to save her. Like, if you have, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm thinking it's like Druid grasping Vine, trying to yoink her before, but obviously you, none of you are Druids. But if you have anything you think you could do, um, go for it. Can I, can I uh, do Misty Step twice? I can actually take it, then teleport in the air, pick him up, and try to go again. It's two moves, but no, I can't, because I, uh, I have only one second level slot. Plus, that's yeah. not really a react. That's like a bonus action thing. I would let you do I would even let you do that reaction, because I love the idea. I would let you do it once, but I don't... That That's a very big stretch to be able to do it twice immediately, back to back on a mm -hmm. reaction like that's a lot would i maybe be able to you can i would allow you to try to do it and then you have to roll the deck save to grab Mike. the ledge and hold 
you're... Am I close enough to even grab his arm? <laughs> no, the only one... No, all of you were not... None of you were at the platform with them. So it'd have to be something mag magically or... Yes. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this this works, but could I maybe set my spiritual weapon underneath him to try and catch him that way? Our spiritual the, weapons corporeal. I have no clue. Um. I you know what? Way, can I on the way down? I will say take that shot that I still have in my pocket. So I'm like, fuck it, dude. I'm if this is the way I'm going out, I'm just chugging that final shot that I still have. <laughs> fuck it, dude. You can't. You know what I'll say? I'll say blue because I like it. And I like to reward creativity. And again, I don't want to just completely. Um, I mean, if I'm I will let you. So I will let you roll <sighs> an Arcana check to see if you have the reaction time to that quickly. Um, change your spiritual weapon into something that can catch Kana and to move it there in time. But you have to roll Arcana, Arcana. at disadvantage. Oh, it's so... well, it's great because it's already minus two. And the other reason I'm letting you do this is because you also know who this entity is because of your time with the sisters and brothers of the Ruby Rose. So you have been expecting. That's almost good. I'm gonna know who it is very soon. <laughs> uh, 15 minus two, 13. Nah, the DC was 15. Uh, I tried. So with that, you all try. So you you see your weapon shoots out, tries to catch. Uh goes over you see her grab but the edge of the abyss crumbles it's it's fragile and you see your party member just go tumbling down and you all feel a very quick but gentle tremor not threatening more almost like satisfactory in the ground and uh, elmanar you just hear a yes good in the back of your head can I, can all right Wait, 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 wait. Did you keep... Oh, damn it. No, he, what, what were you going to oh, do? He's, he's already gone. Oh. I, <laughs> I wanted to do a hypnotic gaze so that he doesn't feel the pain. Oh. <laughs> no. Um, nope, he felt the pain. It's too yeah, bad. Nope. <laughs> also, because again, hypnotic gaze... Wait, what's that? Is that... That's a trait you have? It is. As, oh, that's as an wizard action. Teacher. Yeah, as an action, you have to do it. So, nah, we tried. We tried. We gave many attempts, uh, but now nah, it's happened. Kana fall. I feel Kana so tumbles bad. into the abyss, <laughs> never to be seen again, for all you know. And now we go to the top of the initiative. Theum's just running. He's back at the minecarts. Bloom, it's your turn. Your spiritual weapon is still very much in the proximity of, I'll say, Parrot, because, again, she fell right next to him. So it's there. It's a bit lower now. It's kind of like around yeah. Parrot's feet, but... I... Yeah, there's nothing else I can do. So I guess... Bonus action, uh... Smack the guy with spiritual weapon. Yeah, roll for an attack. Which guy? Yeah! <laughs> right? <laughs> Okay, I think Bloom would be like, okay, maybe my friend is on some kind of spell. So she would go for the, the, the one she knows is the bad guy. You also did see him try and charm, like, one of your NPC friends. Yeah, so you know he's been trying right. so, to mentally, like... So that, that, so that's why I'm like, that I will go for the original bad guy. All right. Uh, that is a... Plus six. <laughs> that is a 25 to hit. That hits, so roll your damage. Dutch Chibis was so sad. Gmail was like, can I try and do hypnotic pattern on the way down so she doesn't feel any pain? I was like, oh, <laughs> my heart. That oh, is... Natty, that list, that, that, that like, <laughs> list of priority for guests on Dungeon Select, dude, you. <laughs> <laughs> that is five damage. Five damage, okay. <laughs> Oh, he he is looking he's looking rough now by the way he's he's clutching his stomach there's still blood coming through the robes through his hands and his eyes kind of like fading in and out from also the psychic effects like he's feeling it oh yeah wait i have to kill my fucking character hold on <laughs> um and fuck it, it. i will as my uh, can you 
Can I use... A... That was your bonus uh, action, to attack with the yeah, spiritual no, weapon. Yeah, I have action. a question, because I always forget how this works. If I have mm -hmm. something else I would like to do, which is also a bonus action, can I use that as an action? Nope. No, okay. Sorry. That's, so that doesn't work. Oh, can't. Um, <laughs> yes, you can't. That's... Dude. <laughs> that starts. I'm okay, guys. Don't worry about it. I mean, you got a you got a sick dagger. Like your dagger is sticking out of Peric's stomach right now. The rapier. Sorry, that your rapier is there. <laughs> okay, I will. I will use another uh, guiding bolt. Okay, roll for attack. Because fuck it, first level. So that is a nineteen to hit. That hits. Roll damage. Plus my forty-six. Uh, six, nine, ten. Why is ten, ten plus four? Fourteen. Yikes. Is ten plus four? Is my, my bad brain. <laughs> he is looking very bad. As the guiding bolt hits him, he just like crumples further, <laughs> and he has a hand on the wall now, and one hand on his his wound, and his foot kind of like slides to the edge of the abyss, and he pulls it back. The rock crumbles away. He's like, oh, no. And he's just like, he's seeing, he is seeing the end here. He is not having it. It is now his turn. So he is going to last ditch attempt. He looks, he, make, he makes eye contact with you, Elmenar. And he's like, I thank you for what you did, but I have no choice. And he's going to try and push you. No! Get fucked, man! <laughs> you fucking oh, that bitch. Um, oh, roll, dude. Roll and... Athletics or acrobatics check your choice, whether you're dodging him or just trying to out because he he's swaying Can we on talk his about feet. How much of a prick this guy is, by the way? Like he knows he's dying and still doesn't <laughs> no, want to jump down himself. Eric. What a pussy! <laughs> right? He I'm should. But <laughs> he's a dick. Yeah. No. He he tries, and I will let you decide because he rolled real bad. He rolled like like a five. Uh, you can decide: is it just he tries to push you and you just stand there, or are you gonna? And I tried to push him in. Yeah, I'll, I'll let go. it happen. He will make a dex save to see if he can grab the edge. He does not. So with that, Peric Oakfall, the council council member of Rail, goes tumbling in. Um, I was planning on healing him next turn. Yeah, but well, he's oh. a fucking dickhead, okay? Yeah, like, apparently that's so. what it is. Yeah, that's where your loyalty lies, Natty. Yep. Prick. As he falls in, he, as he's falling, he just goes, um, this won't end it. Someone must come every year, satiate what lies below. And it like fades and he just keeps shouting that as he falls. And he's right. It won't end. Initiative ends for now because you have no hostile party members. Actually, that's a lie. Initiative will keep going because Elmenar's there. That's a lie. We're still going to keep going. You guys can decide to see what happens. Um, as he... As he, <laughs> well, as as he falls, um, you hear uh, uh, Elmenar just see you in the back of your head. Yes, ever closer. Just a few short years left. Only a few more sacrifices are made for me to come to full power, where I can help you. And then cuts out. So next we go to Corpse Grinder. What do you do? You just, you, like, you know now, you can take the hostages back. They're chilling, waiting for you by the minecarts. Peric's gone, but you saw Elmenar yeet Kana. Yeah, d did I, did I see Elmenar just, was there any hint in his eyes that may have suggested that it was not necessarily him? Or do I um, feel like he should go down roll, now? Well? Roll an insight check. And Natty, you can roll persuasion or deception. Your choice. Yo. Whether you're trying to like... Yeah. Uh, wait. Right. Dirty 20. I got a natural 20. Ooh, oh! Oh! <laughs> In that case, um, Natty, you tell Corpse Grinder what 
what what they can make from your what, what what they would read of your intentions or you were trying to see if there was a magical effect so i guess yeah like uh, never mind no you just this... you just see elmanar's eyes look clear they do not look clouded they do not have a dazed look on their face then they have I, nothing I... they have none of the typically visible signs of magic influence or mental manipulation then i kind of want to run them in <laughs> i um if i can get to him and i can be aggressive and then get to 60 feet movement speed to get to him and make an attack. All right. Roll the attack. That would be 23 to hit. That hits. I feel like that's going to hit. And Barely, though. Jesus be... Christ, your yeah. armor class. <laughs> uh, that would be nine damage but i'm using my mobile flourish and mm. then pushing him five feet away from me Ooh. what direction towards <laughs> towards the edge okay. and over if i can and yeah. there's it doesn't say that it gets a save or anything it just I know. I'm just because I've let everyone do it. I'll say, Natty, you can uh, roll a dexterity save with disadvantage um, to see if you can grab the ledge and save yourself. Oh, hang on. Is also pushed five plus the die result, so that was a four. Yeah, so way, oh, way nine out there. Feet away. <laughs> yeah, so no, that, just... that's that's uh, next save you said. Yeah. That's a three. Oh. Fuck. And with that, you see a third <laughs> tumble. <laughs> over the edge into this gaping black void. And as you do, again, another bigger tremor this time, even more, you get, all of you feel in your in your head an even bigger feeling of satisfaction and like sated hunger. And yeah, with that, I'll say we'll break initiative because there's no hostels left. So what do you, what do you guys do? You have two hostages waiting for you they're not hostages anymore back at the mine carts and you have you can wh what do you do about the whole situation about the town above about the pit what do you what do you want to do <laughs> i just stand there like um now what the fuck was this <laughs> i don't know just, just, should we go home i don't i have zero <laughs> affiliation with this town i, I don't give a fuck <laughs> No, come on. Uh, <laughs> can I go towards the to all the skeletons that are around and just push him in? <laughs> <laughs> not push them in, but make them a, not not so nice pals, just to make sure that the the thing that I recognized is no longer set up in that in that way. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, repeat that. I was just checking something on my sheet. I was asking, can I go around and with all the skeletons that were there, just make sure they are not piled up like they are right now, just to yeah, break, can, just yeah. to break the idea that I that I had. If, yeah, to break to... up the the organized presentation, yeah. almost looking ritual esque. Go for it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I get a little annoyed. Like, how's this helping? <laughs> Maybe just like another question. I did like the invisibility, the invisibility spell before. Like, yep. is there something else we can still see because I did the no. invisibility spell or not? No, no, Damn it. you saw nothing else. All right, so you do that. Nothing happens as you disturb the bones. It seems fine. Actually, okay. make me. <laughs> right row. Oh, what do I call this? I don't know. Make me an acrobatics. Check. I basically I want to see if you if you do, if you push any of them in by accident. Um, I actually have a plus one to this. That's good. Yeah. That's a uh, that's a thirteen. That's fine. Like you're being very careful. It was only good if you rolled. I was gonna say below a ten. I was gonna make it happen. Okay. <laughs> um. So yeah, you very carefully disturb the bones. So weird phrase. Um. Then what? You're. Uh. You, you have you have two. Hostages to lead to lead back. You have a, a a boy to reunite with his mother, and then you choose what you do about the whole situation of the town and this entity. 
I start moving back. I have zero clue. Yeah, I will, I will, I will just say, maybe it's better if we take them home and discuss this with the town. Maybe tell them to move oh, out. <laughs> Don't yeah. live here. Take the town and push it away. <laughs> Yeah, Shouldn't we try to negotiate with the beast? Maybe it will hear us. I mean, something must have driven one of them crazy. I mean, why did he push him on the side? So, or in, in the abyss, there must be something still here, no? Well, seeing like three are down there now, I don't feel that safe if we are going to have a little chat with someone we can walk out. Maybe we have to sacrifice the pig. No, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> The wizards are so, so flying. <laughs> like but let's imagine, go back to them, you're right. Let's go back yeah. to them. I'd like to imagine right. that when, when Elmenar fell, somehow my corpse is teabagging his. <laughs> <laughs> he landed face down, and you landed face up, and he's just like, in your, your crotch. In my groin. <laughs> what a way All right, to go out. so you guys collect your two... Former hostages. You traverse the mine cars, you traverse back up un uh unimpeded. You are not come upon by any other monsters. You reunite Theum with his mom, and she is like falling all over herself. She's so grateful. Uh thanks you all profusely, hugs you, just crying, hugs him. And you go back and you you join in the festival, although not quite, you know, at full spirits, because you're you're missing a friend. You're missing multiple friends, depending on the way you look at it. And you Only know one. about this mystery, but you decide we'll we'll deal with this tomorrow. We'll tell we'll tell the council. We won't tell the council. What do you? We're not gonna roll over. Just for, what what will you choose to do? You'll tell the, the town council and just be like, get the fuck out of here. I think Bloom would first look for like a temple or something. Okay. And see if she can do something in name of uh, <laughs> Kena, just to 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 or remind her or something just to do something yeah it's and um, then and then leave the temple because it's a very big mining town like religion not a big thing here there's like one generic temple that is a catch-all to like most of yeah. the gods widely worshipped like it has a few different like rooms and sections each with like a symbol of the various like the big deities but other th and a lot of the other more obscure ones would not be recognized, but it's just the catch-all. This is our one designated religious area yeah. for people to use. So it's a very industrial mining town. Well, it will do, just, just, just to have a small little gesture. All right. I, I would, I would probably have a talk, go to the... Have a talk with the, with the city uh, council. Right. Yep. Could we keep a funeral also? Is that possible? Because we're pretty religious for that and we wanted to cross to the next world, so... You want to do a funeral for, like, a... A, a, a small right... one, not all of them, yeah. like one of the three, you know? The two yeah. others, fuck them. You'll three. give Kana <laughs> a send-off because yeah. she, yeah. they got done dirty. So, you'll off to the side, like, after the festival's over the next day and after Bloom has her time temple, you'll have a little quick, uh, like, ceremony of remembrance for your fallen ally, you can make even a, a grave marker for her in the small graveyard, or for them, sorry, in the graveyard of the town. And yeah, the you'll talk to the council. The council will agree that they that it's not worth it. The town will they'll take what they can. The resources will try and rebuild, start somewhere new, and they're gonna try and cave in the mines in hope of whatever is down in that pit, even if it does awaken from the lack of the lack of sacrifices. It's trapped down there. And that is where we'll end it. But um, Elmenar, we did it! Oh, wait, hey. uh, Elmenar, while the city is doing before they fully complete the cave in, uh, you you wake you wake up at the bottom of this pit, hurting all over. You have never felt your body hurt so much, but a voice in the back of your head just, "You served me well. I can't let you go out like that." You'll have a second chance, and you're gonna Ooh, ah. crawl your way out of the pit before the mine gets caved oh, in. I'm gonna lose my fucking shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and Dry. that is where we will end our one Dry. shot, the night festival. Cool. I did not do this, guys. Natty came to me and was like, "I want to be an oathbreaker paladin, and I have an idea." And I'm like, "I can, I can build on that. I can make this work." 
and it's, it's Natty's fault, okay? It was not my idea to sure, put an Oathbreaker serving an evil entity in there, but then he gave me the opportunity, and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can run with this. Oh, I'm so the, sorry, Dodge. The <laughs> only damage that like, I did this whole fucking thing was <laughs> Natty. Like, yeah, I didn't I do killing, any damage. Killing your party yeah. member. But <laughs> also, Elmin, said... El Elminar would come back not as Elminar. Elminar was coming back as like a lich. Ooh. Well, that's even stronger than a level three paladin. I, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the irony is, is great, though. For those to know what happened when I guessed yeah, it, um, yeah, 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 yeah. The one shot yeah. itself honestly, does not specify at all, like what the kind of like the entity is. I completely oh, flavored that myself, cool, and I've decided because I'm a Kalash star. Um, yeah, Kalash star uh, share their body. There's their their human soul and then their mm -hmm. quarry spirit soul. When a Kalash yeah. star dies, the souls like get separated again. And the mm -hmm. quarry spirit just gets redistributed mm -hmm. among another living Kalash star. So my like quarry spirit side of my soul just lives on into someone. So else's you could Kalash live on being. to face and get your vengeance on Lich yeah. Elminar, yeah. and you could one day if, meet if that again. Part of the soul like remembers, I guess. Yes, but like yeah. <laughs> um, upon death, the yeah. dual soul of the Kalash star splits into the human parts and the quarry parts. The quarry part is redistributed among the living Kalash star of that lineage. And their bond to that quarry grows slightly stronger. So the the quarry part of my soul does live on in in some way, shape, or form, just in yeah. a different body. Bruh, that's kind of wild. What's For what's anyone... going on with me like being a dick on this channel? <laughs> hey, why is that? Like, yeah, why is that? I don't think I it's. Think, the I think it's a question you have to ask yourself. Yeah, I think so too. No, I think. I think I can explain this because it's the first time I'm doing Dungeons and Dragons. I think some people are like here for the first time following a game like this, yeah. and the first thing they see is backstabbing friends. So. Backstabbing yeah. friends. Okay, this Just stuff like happens, Mario Party. This stuff happens much more often in a one shot because you don't have to live with the yeah. repercussions yeah, of it. Like true. obviously, if you're doing a recurring campaign like we normally do weekly every Sunday. But I put Natty against the party of, of a long stab. But, as, but again, as a guest, he wasn't one of the ones that who had to. Yeah. No, that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. If anyone and wondering. That was you. The entity that was down there, I decided I took the Faerunian god uh, Mirkul, if that's how you pronounce him, who was a regular Lord adventurer who ascended to a god of death and the Lord of Bones, hence all the bones. And basically, he'd been kicked out of Faerun, and they, the people who dealt with him were like, we're going to trap him in another plane so we don't give a shit where he ends up. He ended up in your plane, and he was trapped down oh, there, and the miners woke him up. And yeah. Natty, that Natty is an Oathbreaker paladin. That was his deity. He didn't know about it at the time, but he'd been kind of on a vague path with this deity for a while. So that's wild. Well, no, it was Laura, edgy. Until he started whispering me. Well, thank you and I, for uh, for running this one shot. Actually, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, it, was, it really was fun. But <laughs> I, I really messaged Laura like, do I actually know his name? And like, if if OSG would have mentioned him, yeah. then I probably would have acted faster as well. Yeah, because you also rolled really low at the beginning, so I was like, you don't know. Yeah. You just you know you should know what these bones mean, yeah, 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 but yeah. you don't know. Mm. <laughs> so. Otherwise, I might have actually pushed the other. <laughs> I also realized I I fucked up a little bit because it does say at the end like Peric would have been willing to throw himself in at a point, and so I should have had him just yeet oh, over dude, when he realized he was dead. Because the way you but... <laughs> him, yeah. yeah, absolute dickhead. Yeah, so. I'm My bad. <laughs> also, Optius says that the brown potion you drank gave you an extra d6 on a spell attack, and you never did a ranged <laughs> spell attack. I oh, fuck. I, I just don't something... have them. <laughs> I just did something... <laughs> something pretty stupid. You explained the whole potion system to me. I was so stressed, I actually forgot the effects of it. <laughs> this, uh, no, this was dope. This was awesome, begin, you did... um, yeah. like as a as a as a fellow DM, uh, you did great. Good job. Yay. Yeah, I'm sorry well. for taking away your, your chance to play by killing you off. I mean, that was literally the this end. That was the time. final fight. Like, know, you played through to the end. Yeah. I felt that, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I know. <laughs> no, I'm you sorry. Felt. Fucked up. Oh, God. <laughs> cool. All right. It was all good. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, Gmail, you did it. You did thank it. you for letting me join. It. If you're ever looking for a, a guest, let me know. I'm always oh, interested. Yeah. I might not know That's everything, good. but... Well, you're, you're up on the list above Natty now, so... 
<laughs> I think everyone's above Natty at the moment. True. Literally, literally. literally everybody's above Natty at this point. Um... Man. <laughs> no, thank you so much for uh, for watching, everybody. Um, for all the people that are new, we stream D&D &D every Sunday. This Sunday, yeah. we return from our uh, holiday break. Uh, we also play Divinity on Monday. And every Thursday, we do a talk show called Dungeon Discourse, where we basically take a behind-the-scenes look at the last session or the last episode of every Sunday and talk about that, play some mini games, and, and just kind of, you know, the show about the show oh. kind of thing. And uh, everyone so here all... is a streamer. So True. the usernames True. you see underneath their character names, like, check those out. If you want, if everyone, everyone do the quick, like, two-sentence elevator pitch what their content is. We'll go in order of, like, the overlay. So I'll just start real quick. But variety streamers split between multiplayer and single-player story games. Very, very loud. Channel comes with permanent headphone warning. Next. OSG, take it away. Uh, play every game I like to play. At the moment, there's a lot of Skyrim. Uh, I'm not loud. I'm the <laughs> chill guy. So if you like, if you like to chill, and you like Pokemon cards, come hang out sometime. Opti. I am very loud. <laughs> uh, I make music, and my new album is coming out somewhere soon, and it should have come out half a year yeah. ago but it didn't uh so i'm still streaming and i i stream games three times a week i hope and music one times a week i hope and a uh, fun nice dutch hold on <laughs> oh to do it now be subtle Jeez. on spotify um, see bottle i'm loud i wear a funny <laughs> hat when chat forces me to and i play a lot of different games <laughs> He's getting his mind fucked by inscription at the moment. That show game's that. wild. That game's fucking wild. Show that real quick. <laughs> oh, show that for right. new people. Oh, yep. Yeah. And last but not least, Natty. Uh, are we skipping someone? Oh, no, order. I'm, li it's I'm a liar. It's a liar. It's a Skipping our No, it's good. Then fields. I get it. No, no. Uh, variety streamer. Also, I fail a lot on stream. Uh, we have a lot of fun on stream and we try to do crazy stuff. Um, every time I hit 50 followers, I do like a special kind of challenge and I give away with that. So that's kind cool. of the thing. And I let the people choose which games I play next normally. But... Oh, yeah. Dope. Natty doesn't get a shout out. Hey. Natty doesn't get a shout out. Yeah, I'm just I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Shit. Um, yeah, I, uh, I like challenges. I play challenging games, and if they're not challenging, I make them challenging with like, additional rules and stuff. Um, bit of everything, really. A lot of Pokemon, a lot of Dark Souls, Sekiro, things like that. Uh, and yeah, I, I, I don't really rage at games. That's me. There you go. So if any of that sounds like things you want to watch, then go follow those people. Do the thing. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, and if you like D&D and you haven't followed us yet over here, follow this channel. Because like I said, this Sunday we return with uh, our campaign, which uh, IDM and Laura plays in, and a bunch of other people also play in yeah. that aren't here right now. Um, every Sunday, talk show every Thursday, Divinity every Monday. Um, check out, you know, see you next time, hopefully. Hit the follow button on your way out. We'd greatly appreciate that. And uh, I think we're out of here. I need a, I need a drink. <laughs> oh, I'm sad. No. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Um, <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Have a good night. And uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Bye. And uh, catch you on Sunday. That be. Select. The route. That's the wrong fucking scene, isn't it? Yeah, it sure fucking is. All right. Oh, yeah, this is awkward. Okay. <clears throat> We're good. Bye. <laughs>